101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville. And you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. A pleasant good evening, friends, and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball. We are live here at GCU Arena. It is jam-packed with students. They seat over 7,000 in this facility, and at least half of it is filled up with students here tonight. Again, I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us. We are on the road in Phoenix, Arizona. A very critical matchup for both of these schools. Sam Houston men's basketball on the road here. The third and final game of a three-game road stand against this Grand Canyon team. Sam Houston took care of them back in Huntsville. It was on January the 22nd in a 58 to 56 win. That was part of those three wins at home versus top teams and Stephen F. Austin, New Mexico State, and then of course Grand Canyon. So GCU will try to rebound and avenge that loss that happened to them in Huntsville. It's gonna be a tough one here tonight. And I have a special treat for our friends back in Huntsville and all of those across the Bearcats Sports Radio Network and also in the booth is my good friend, someone that I got to call games with for many years. The last time we called a game was almost five years ago. Mr. Matt Leshman, he is here in Arizona. Matt, good to be back with you, partner. It's been a long time. Yeah, Rob, been about, what, five years since we've called a game together. But when I find out you were coming out here to the Valley of the Sun, beautiful weather outside today, but what an atmosphere inside GCU Arena. They call this the biggest party in college basketball, and you can see 25 minutes until the tip. It is jam-packed on the student side, and it's going to be a wild atmosphere here tonight. You know, and even an hour and a half before we even got in here, the students were already outside. They had a big party going on. There was loudspeakers. I mean, this is the atmosphere that one day that I'm always hoping and believing that we're going to have at Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville. This is what it's all about. So much fun here tonight. And again, the students are here. We even saw the president over here. You know, he's dressed up for President's Day, man. <laughs> Not Joe Biden, but you know what I'm saying. They do a lot of themes here with the students, which they call the Havoc section. So it was just President's Day. So you got Abe Lincoln and George Washington looking a little bit younger in the front row over there. But uh, a critical game, like you said, for the Bearcats tonight playing the Antelopes and uh, both looking to improve their seating for that WAC tournament coming up. You know, and then earlier today, as Sam Houston currently sitting in that third spot, Grand Canyon is in that fifth spot in the WAC seed. Well, earlier today, New Mexico State getting their third loss on the season, and it was against Chicago State on the road. I don't think anybody was expecting that. It was a buzzer beater shot there by the Cougars to win that game. And man, that is a huge one here because it really keeps things in the running for Sam Houston, for Stephen F. Austin, and there's a lot going on. It really is, Rob. And when I found out, you know, you got started calling games for Sam and with Grand Canyon being here where I live, I started following the WAC a little more closely. And that's a shocking, shocking uh, outcome in Chicago. That upset, I think New Mexico State might have thought they could just get off the bus and win that game considering they were about to close out the regular season title. But now everything's back in play. If the Bearcats can get this win here today, tonight, Rob, they'll be just uh, uh, half a game back. Sam Houston 17 and 12 overall, 12 and 4 in the Western Athletic Conference. Grand Canyon, the Lopes. They enter. It's not 119 and 7. They have a typo on their on their thing. Yeah, I was going to say that's nine, a great record. Nine, 19 and 7, 10 and 5 in the Western Athletic Conference as they're currently sitting in fifth place. And of course, they are under head coach Bryce Drew. His brother is the Baylor head coach. And we all know Baylor won the national championship last year. They're doing good this this year. So there's a lot of pedigree there. And also Bryce Drew picking up his 200th win in their previous game as they were victorious at Chicago State, 85 to 64. So Drew will join only two other head coaches, Dixie State, the other coach, and of course, Jason Hoot, the other two coaches over 200 career wins here in the Western Athletic Conference. Well, Rob, we all remember Bryce Drew from his days playing for his father, Homer, at Valparaiso making one of the biggest shots in NCAA tournament history, one of those one shining moment type shots. But since he got here to the Lopes, which has been magical as the head coach and really uh, taking them to the conference title and to the, to the NCAA tournament last year, 
they're really happy with what Bryce True's been able to do here at GCU. Well, Sam Houston will briefly talk. We came on a lot earlier because Matt and I had some things to talk about. We're still about 23 minutes until tip-off here, but Sam Houston, we go back to their last game. It was a tough one at Stephen F. Austin. It's a place where the Bearcats have only won two times under head coach Jason Hooten, and unfortunately a 69-67 to loss in that matchup. Sam Houston, they came all the way back down from 18 points. They ran out of time in the end to fall to Stephen F. Austin, as I mentioned, 69-67. to They're at the other Johnson College. Coliseum in Nacogdoches, the Bearcats, they tied the game with 67, put back by Savion Flag with eight seconds to go in a game after they trailed by double digits for most of the evening. The Jacks got a foul call, and that was a questionable call. A lot of people went back and looked at that. They said, man, at that point, you've just got to let him play. It was a call, but again, Sam Houston only shot two of 18 from downtown in that game, so right. you can make another three-pointer. So, you know, hindsight's 20-20 but it was a tough way to lose that game because SFA hit two free throws to win it. Epe led Sam Houston, he had 15 points. Savion Flag, he had a double-double with 13 points and 13 boards. And then Javon Grant, he had 12 points. The freshman really starting to come alive here for these Bearcats, his confidence is building. In fact, I sent Javon a message after the game. I said, look, man, I know that, that that was tough for you on that call, but he had easily one of the best games that he's had as a Bearcat. That's always a tough matchup, Matt. Yeah, exactly, and with Sam Houston losing in such a tough fashion against SFA, you expect them to come out kind of inspired tonight. And, uh, you know, looking at Grand Canyon, Rob, I can tell you not as much balance this year for the Lopes as there was last year when they won the WAC. Uh, they're very, very backcourt-oriented this year with Javon Blackshear and Holland Woods. We'll talk about them later, but they averaged 30 points combined, you know, in the starting lineup, but it drops off big time there. They... Uh, talking with some of my friends that, that cover Grand Canyon consistently, they need more front court scoring if they're going to, uh, you know, do what they want to do here and reach their goals at the end of the year. But for Sam Houston State here tonight, if you can at least contain Blackshire and Woods, you've got a very good chance of winning in a tough atmosphere. Sam Houston is five and seven on the road. They will battle a Grand Canyon Lopes team that is 12 and two here at GCU Arena. I had a chance to catch up with Jason Hooten, our head coach, just a few moments ago. We'll step aside and take a break. And when we come back, you'll hear from head coach Jason Hooten from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove, Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Rob Hip here pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten today on the road. It is the final of the three-game road stand against a very tough and always competitive Grand Canyon Lopes team. They're 10-5 and five in the whack. But coach, before we talk about that, just very quickly going back on the road at Stephen F. Austin, a tough matchup there. Javon Grant, I think he still had one of his best games, and that was just a tough ending there. That game was played so well down the stretch. You guys go down by 18, come back, tie that ball game. Just kind of your thoughts on that game, coach. Yeah, I mean... I thought Javon was probably the biggest reason that we were there and even had a chance to win that game. We did not play our very best uh, the first 20 minutes for sure and maybe even five minutes into the second half. But I thought the last 15 minutes we played really well and, you know, we did what we had to do to dig ourselves out of a huge hole, come back from 18 down, as you said. You know, and at one point, I think even with seven minutes to go, we were down 12 or 14 and, you know, to tie the game with 12 seconds left and get beat. You know, on a controversial play, uh, 
at, at best it's controversial you know it's just tough to do but if you've been in this business for a long enough time you know you're going to have that kind of stuff happen to you today here in phoenix facing grand canyon a team that i said earlier 10 and 5 in the western athletic conference currently sitting in that fifth spot they're still wanting to get better seating as well your team defeated them back at home previously uh, but coach this is a team coming off of a victory previously shooting over 50 percent for the first time since mid-january uh, just kind of the mindset for your guys and you heading into this one well they're as talented as anybody in our league uh, they were picked i believe to win the league and you know for a reason they they're really good uh, you know i had a great game with them at our place and won a two-point close game um, you know i expect it to be a battle today uh, you know anytime you play someone for the second time and you beat them the first time you know like our sfa game those guys will be ready for us for sure and uh, you know i expect our guys to come out and fight and compete play hard you know i think after a game like the sfa game you have an opportunity to you know either regroup and get it going again or feel sorry for yourself and i just don't think we have that type of team that's going to do that i think our guys will come out tonight and they'll give grand canyon uh you know everything they want here and you know we know this atmosphere is going to be amazing and a lot of fun and you know we're just excited to play now it's time for coach Hooten's keys of the game presented by emblem properties real estate coach is always your keys to victory in this one tonight well the first thing we'd have to do is what we did at our place and that's take away their transition baskets um they, they they're really really good especially at home at getting up and down the floor so we've got to do a good job of making it not necessarily a half court game but just can't give them a bunch of you know the three pointers in transition and dunks and just you know anything to get that crowd spurred we need to try to keep that as as calm and at bay as as best and possible now I think the other thing we have to do is rebound. You know, we out-rebounded them at our place, I believe, by 2, uh, 40 to 38, but we had 15 offensive rebounds in that game. And, you know, I think that we have to do that. We've got to battle them on the glass. You know, we we ended up, we were down quite a bit against SFA and came back and won on the boards uh, the other night. So I think those two things alone uh, we have to do. And then we, we've got to, you know, we've got to take care of the ball. At our place they had 12 turnovers and we had seven. We played a basketball game and had seven turnovers which is pretty amazing um, you know and I think coming into a hostile environment you know against a really good basketball team that gives up like 38 39 percent from the field which is even better than us um, you have to take good care of the ball and then I think more importantly than anything we just got to make some shots you know we make shots Thursday night we win that game going away and we just can't sit around and talk about it you know we have to do it we got to make some shots you know Lampley and Savion got to make some shots those are the two guys that we depend on and then they've got to make some shots for us to be successful and win. Keys of the game brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate who offers the customer service difference where our clients are number one. Coach, finally, just kind of a bonus question here, the final road game of the regular season. I just wanted to maybe ask you to pull out one word about how impressed you've been with these guys on the road this season. It's been a tough schedule having to travel a lot more than than uh, and normally being in the new conference. What is one way you'd describe your guys on the road this season? Yeah, I mean, I think this team has played as well and traveled as well as any group we've ever had. And, you know, that says a lot. But also, like you said, I mean, our schedule has been just absolutely a a beast. Uh, you know, if we could have found a way to pull that game off the other night, we would have been 6-6. Six and six, You know, and any time you could finish right around 500 or above 500 in, on the road. Um, you know, and then again, we just looked back. We just didn't have a lot of home games this year, you know, preseason. And that I think that really probably has a lot to do with us only having about 17 wins right now. So these guys have been great on the road. You know, if we could pull this thing off tonight and get ourselves to 6-7, and seven, I believe, you know, uh, it, it would be a, a pretty good year on the road and uh, you know and then the rest of them are besides the home game to finish it off the rest of them are going to be neutral games and I think we're two and three on on a neutral setting this year so having a chance to be right there at 500 on the road and then having a chance to you know maybe be above 500 uh, well we're going to have to if we're going to win the conference tournament so I, th I think those are uh, those are things that you can say hey look this team has really done well in those kind of moments and, and I'm proud of them for that. Awesome. Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Good luck tonight, and eat them up, cats. Eat them up, cats. This will wrap up our pregame with head coach Jason Hooten. We'll have more looking into this one from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network.
Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, one dollar will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Back at it, friends, here from GCU Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. It is loud. Even more students are coming in. Boy, I don't know where they're opening up the floodgates <laughs> tonight. I said earlier it was about half full of students. Now I think maybe two-thirds of this arena that seats 7,000. The Grand Canyon fans, they come out in droves. Many of them are students. They support this Lopes team. And we are about 13 minutes or so until we get started. They also do a prayer here. We'll have that over the air. Also the national anthem. This is a faith-based school, non-denominational faith-based school. Uh, and tonight is God Bless America night. And that is why we see so much red, white, and blue for the radio audience that is listening back at home. You can't see it, but it is covered in red, white, and blue here. We have just a beautiful pageantry honoring our country here tonight. Rob, my friend Richard Ober, who covers Grand Canyon, was saying, you know, I told him I had never been to a GCU game at this arena before and he said get ready you know and I, I saw kind of your reaction with more students pouring into the havoc section and as you said behind us where the non-student section is you, you know a decent crowd but nothing like you really couldn't shoehorn another student into the three sections that are across from us just a wild atmosphere the band is in here playing a lot of red, white, and blue patriotism, like you said. There's another student section off to the right here, completely full, basically, and the band over there. So uh, an atmosphere really unlike any other in college basketball. I guess you compare it to Duke in, in North Carolina, but they, uh, they, they are loud. They are right on the opposing players, Rob, and I know from listening to interviews with Grand Canyon players, they fuel the antelopes to do big things on this court. Matt, as course as you know and our radio audience knows, there is a lot of heartbreak going on right now in our world with the Russia and Ukraine situation. Grand Canyon University actually has a player, the six foot 10 junior forward, Dima Zador. He is from the Ukraine. We are praying for his family tonight that they will stay safe. And then our very own Kuba Kowalski has family in Poland. So again, we want to keep those families in our prayers tonight, especially Dima Zador. And to honor that, we would like to step aside now for 15 seconds and take a complete moment of silence for what is happening right now. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. taking that moment of silence with us as we're about to have the national anthem here in just a few moments. The junior ROTC is out on the court at the GCU logo. The public address announcer to our left is calling that out. And here in just a few moments, we will have our country's national anthem. We'll pause for that now.
Beautiful rendition of our country's national anthem just a few moments ago by the ROTC and the junior ROTC. Matt, that was absolutely beautiful. That was the ROTC singing the national anthem. Yeah, you don't normally see that, Rob, and they're getting a huge ovation, well-deserved. Beautiful uh, rendition of the anthem there. And should be here in just a few moments. As they do a prayer here, we'll also carry that for you here on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Again, I want to welcome everybody in. If you're out there, we'd love Bearcat to hear from you tonight. University, are you ready to get this And uh, it continues to be loud in here. To get under the Very loud. And I thought they were going to do the prayer. I don't believe that they are, Matt. Maybe they're not tonight. It was on the time sheet. Yeah, they will. I think they do it after the, <laughs> a little later. So running out right now is the Lopes flags, the L-O-P-E-S, each one representing, and then the Lopes logo. The flags are in white, the lettering in purple. They'll also bring out Grand Canyon flags as well. I'm telling you, I mentioned this earlier, the pageantry putting on these basketball games, it's simply a beautiful sight to see. This university does it as one of the best in the entire Division I landscape. Yeah, just because Grand Canyon is a smaller school, they do it up big. Their fans get involved, and their students especially are like no other, at least in the western part of the U.S. They, uh, there's something to see. We'll step aside, and we'll go ahead and take a 60-second break. When we come back, we'll have team introductions and more tip-off here in about six minutes. Stay with us from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Back at it here, friends. Rob Pimp alongside Matt Leshman. We are live at TCU Arena. It is loud. This place continues to fill up with even more people. We almost have a completely packed house here. The lower bowl is almost completely full. The second level as well. Again, this is a facility that seats 7,000 people. The students are jumping. There are streamers. There is smoke in the air. I mean, this is incredible for a college basketball atmosphere. And Brian, I've called game, or uh, Matt, I've called games at Texas, I've had the pleasure of calling games at other arenas, and I'm telling you, man, this rivals even some of the Power Five schools. It does, Rob, and I'll tell you right now, they everything's coordinated. You know, they know what they're doing here. The, the streamers all went off at the same time. It's a big production here, and uh, it's amazing to see. About 3.30 to go before we get things underway. We'll have those tip, uh, tip off and starting lineups coming up at that time. We talked about the Bearcats entering into this ball game on that loss at Stephen F. Austin, 69 to 67. We'll talk a little bit about this GCU team as they needed to get back to their winning ways. They did it Wednesday night. It was Coach Price Drew's 200th 
career win. His Lopes giving a dominant road effort. They throttled the Cougars early with their defense, delivering Drew's landmark victory, an 85-64 victory. Drew, the only whack head coach with 200 victories besides Dixie State's John Judkins and Sam Houston, our own Jason Hooten. I talked about that earlier. This Grand Canyon team, they saw a more balanced offensive attack to support sophomore guard Javon Blackshire. We've mentioned him. You talked a little bit about Blackshire. That's going to be one we'll have to keep an eye on here tonight. Yes, both Javon Blackshire and Holland Woods for GCU. Very backcourt heavy. Scored 30 points a game combined. Uh, you have to watch out for them. Uh, GCU, Rob, really needed that game at Chicago State because a week ago they did not play well in a home loss here to New Mexico State. You had the same kind of atmosphere with a wild crowd, and GCU just played, you know, not well. New Mexico State came in here, shot the ball very well from the beginning, and uh, just kind of took the crowd out of it, as Coach Hooten said before the game. It's a big key for Sam. Well, look at the stack comparison here as we still have some time before we go over the lineups. For Sam Houston, they averaged 70 points a game. The Lopes at 71.5. From the field, the Bearcats shoot 42.8. Grand Canyon at 43.4. From three-point land, that's an area that Sam Houston struggled dearly against Stephen F. Austin. They're going to have to turn that around tonight. They were only two of 18 against the Jacks, actually three of 18 against the Jacks. On the season, 34.7% for Sam Houston, 35% for Grand Canyon. Also, Sam Houston, a staple of their program this season is they normally out-rebound teams. 38.1 for the Cats entering this game. Grand Canyon at 40. That was one of those Emblem Properties real estate keys to victory. As Coach Hooten said, we've got to out-rebound this team. Sam Houston dishing out more assists than Grand Canyon at 14.5 compared to 12.8. The Bearcats and Grand Canyon all tied up in blocks at 2.3. Sam Houston also stills more than Grand Canyon, 7.6 compared to 6.8 per game. The Bearcats allow 64 points on defense. Grand Canyon allows 61. The Bearcats on the defensive side for field goals allow 40.9, while Grand Canyon holds their teams to 38.8. That is a phenomenal number for this Lopes team. They only hold their opponents at 38% from the field. Well, reading earlier, Rob, these are the two best defensive teams in this conference. So which offense tonight can execute more efficiently against what's going to be a tough defense on the other side. That's going to be a big key to this, and we'll see how high or low scoring this game gets, but two very good defenses that the, each team kind of hangs their hat on that defense to, to get them near the top of the conference standings. Devon Blackshire Jr., the 5'11 sophomore guard, averages 16 points a game. Behind him, Holland Woods, the senior, at 14 points a game. Those are the two that we'll keep our eyes on here tonight as we are moments away from the opening prayer and tip-off again. Thanks for joining us at Sam Houston Men's Basketball here live tonight. We'll also hear from Carlos Zimmerman in the first half, also at halftime and post-game. He is our studio host at Back at the Flagship. And also a reminder, this game is brought to you in part by our good friends at H-E-B. No store does more than my H-E-B. We already have several messages coming in the booth. Dave Richardson saying, let's take care of business. My wonderful mother north of Austin saying, great to see you, Matt. She always misses you, man. Also, Teresa Dickey saying, good evening. Let's go catch. Charles McDowell also joining us. Bearcat Charlie saying, bring home the win here tonight. We'll send it over now. I believe in just a few moments we will have that prayer. Matt, again, I know I keep talking about it. An electric atmosphere. Sam Houston has got to take care of business here in this ball game. It is very tight in the Western Athletic Conference. For those of you that are just joining us, New Mexico State lost on the road. They were upset by Chicago State and a buzzer beater by the Cougars earlier. That was incredible. A huge upset in the WAC standings and allows kind of everybody chasing New Mexico State to kind of have a chance again. Everybody thought if New Mexico State would uh, take care of their business today, that would pretty much wrap up the conference. But now a lot of things are back in play. And we see Bryce Drew getting his plaque for his 200th career win. Well, Grand Canyon is playing their final three games of the regular season here at home. They're 12-2. We talked about that earlier on their home court, looking for their 13th home win for the first time since the 2017-18 season. The Lopes sit one and a half games behind Seattle U and Sam Houston for that coveted second place in the WAG standings. The top two seeds, of course, will get a bye to the semis, while number three and four will get a bye to the quarterfinals in that WAG tournament that is coming up March the 8th through the 12th.
That's one thing Grand Canyon's been talking about is sitting in the fifth spot right now. This is a very, very important game for them, too, because a win tonight against Sam Houston will propel them to a possible bye. And having to play, what, four games in four nights to try to win that if you don't have a bye is extremely difficult in the WAC tournament. We'll go now for the opening prayer. Stay with us here. Lord, we pray that even though there will still be a team that comes out tonight, a winner, that both teams will play for the Lord, and that both teams will play in a manner that is pleasing for you. Lord, we thank you uh, just for this wonderful arena that we get to gather here as students, as colleagues, and that we get to celebrate these players and all their accomplishments and wonderful athletic abilities. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful co uh, country that we get to be in a nation that celebrates freedom, and that we are blessed with the ability to stay safe. Lord, we pray that you be with those tonight uh, and always with those in Ukraine suffering from a terrible invasion. Uh, Lord, that you'd be with those impacted, both families and those right in the fray, that your blessing in your hand be upon them. Lord, we pray all these things in your name, and that your blessing will be upon those uh, here this evening. We pray this Amen. Beautiful prayer there, and of course, about to get underway here tonight. We'll go over the starting lineups as we'll get things started here for the home team, Grand Canyon, the Antelopes, under head coach Bryce Drew. They're calling our guys right now. Matt, there was so much going on. I have papers all over the place. Coach Bryce Drew. 36 and 14 in his second year here at Grand Canyon. 10 years overall, 200 wins, 122 losses. They will start with the six foot four, 210 pound graduate guard out of Toronto, Ontario, and Oregon State transfer number zero, Sean Miller Moore. The five foot 11, 165 pound junior guard out of Oakland, California, Shadow Mountain High School. It is number 10, the leading scorer on the team. Javon Blackshire, a six foot one, 190 pound graduate guard out of Phoenix, Arizona, the hometown boy out of Apollo, the transfer from Arizona State. It's number 11, Holland Woods, the second. A six foot six, 255 pound junior forward out of France, and the transfer from Nebraska, it is Ivan Woodruago. And last but certainly not least, a six foot seven, 230 pound forward, the junior out of Arizona, Southeast Missouri State. It is number 30, Gabe McLaurin. And here is your Sam Houston starting lineup for tonight. Turnaround jumper here, Tristan Ipe starting early in the very end. Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic, the jumper, the two shot, the yes, there it is to Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby. It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court. It's Dante Powers. He's saying, I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12, I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a five foot 10, 165 pound junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, number 13, I'm Jaden Ray. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three, I'm lighting up the market so again, your starting lineups and uh, Matt, man, it is so loud in here I can barely even hear you. This this will be nothing like Sam will see at any other point this year. It's uh, it's a madhouse in here, and the game hasn't even started, Rob. Yeah, normally I, I engineer the sound on my own broadcast, so if we're having a little bit of overmodulation, we're working on it. Uh, but we are ready to get started here. 20 minutes is up on the board. The first half is about to get underway. Sam Houston men's basketball on the road tonight here in Phoenix, Arizona at GCU Arena. I'm Rob Hip with Matt Leshman. We are moments away from rocking and rolling, my friend. I think this havoc section, Rob, they, 
They pride themselves on overmodulation. <laughs> Yeah, they, you know, they have the graphics sometimes where it shows. I think they can't put that up here because it would break the signage. Exactly. Well, again, want to remind you, if you're out there, we'd love to hear from you. A lot of friends are already joining us in the booth. Send those comments to us if you're back at home listening on FM radio or wherever you may be over the radio airwaves on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. That Bearcat fan text line is open at 512-522-9105. Again, 512-522-9105. 522-9105. Send us a text. Let us know where you are. Sam Houston on the road in their road orange jerseys, the orange shorts, the triangles in gray and white, but the Sammy the Fierce head logo on the left side and the right side. Sam Houston written across the front in italic letters in white, the numbers in white outlined in gray with the claw logo on the back. And for Grand Canyon in their white jerseys, white shorts, purple numbers. And here we go. The opening tip is controlled by the Bearcats. They will control it here, moving from right to left. And we are underway here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Savion Flag from downtown. Rattles in and out. Man, that was a tough one. And that's the way Cody Stark and I were talking about this. The basketball SID, that the shots have been there for the Cats. It's just we haven't had any lucky breaks. They rim in and out. Grand Canyon back to the right side. They've got it here. We're just underway. 30 seconds into it. Blackshire has it at the top of the three off the high screen to the right wing. Picks up his dribble. Goes over to the corner. This one down low over to the Woods near that right baseline. Trying to drop one down low to Blackshire. Scoop and hoop. No good. Tipped around. Bearcats. And we have a whistle here, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Mail went out of bounds. There was a shot clock violation as well. Sam Houston will have it here. Blackshire with the drive there, not able to convert. He's uh, their leading scorer for GCU. Back over here is Sam Houston. It's Chavion May. Back over to Lampley on the left wing is Javon Grant. Baseline rocket loses the handle. And it will go out of bounds, though, off of Grand Canyon. It'll stay with the Bearcats. 19.02 to go. No score as we're underway here in Phoenix. Thanks for joining us. Sam Houston inbound on the left baseline. Up top over to Epe from Jaden Ray. Ray will backpedal his way. Find Savion Flagg, who's 0 for 1 from downtown. Over to May on the corner. May trying to work from the paint. He'll dart this one back over to Jaden Ray. Ray launches one from the right wing. Bounces off the front. Won't find it. And it's rebounded there by McLaughlin. And here comes Grand Canyon on the far side from left to right. It is Blackshire. Actually over to Woods. Woods has it near that left wing. Ball goes up top to McLaughlin. Around the world we go over to the right corner to Sean Miller Moore, the senior guard. Backpedaling on May. Ball back up top to Blackshear. He's guarded by Ray. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Blackshear trying to work around here from the left side. Puts up a shot off the glass. No good. Rebound to Ipe. And here comes Jaden Ray. Quickly turns on the Jets. Finds flag. Savion gets it poked away. It goes out of bounds and it'll stay with the Bearcats. Both teams cold to start, Rob. Kind of feeling it out. Each team 0 for 2. 18, 14 to go. Still no scores. Matt said both teams 0 for to start this ball game. Jaden Ray receives the inbound pass. Stands on top of the G of the GCU logo near center court. Still work a left-handed dribble over to the left wing. Controls it. Bounce back up top over to JV on May. May with a couple of right-handed dribbles. Finds Jaden Ray down there near that right baseline to the left wing to May. High screen Epe takes a long jumper. This one on the way. Bring it home, baby. And the Bearcats have the first basket of the game. Leading 2 to nothing with 17.49 to go. On that Miller time game clock, Woods has it at the top. High screen McLaughlin. He'll rotate back over the pass back up to McLaughlin. Now it's in the hands of Blackshire. Blackshire to the right wing. Finds Woods. He launches a three. This one rims in and out. Rebound down there, McLaughlin, but he steps out of bounds. It'll go right back to the Bearcats. The bank was open for the Bearcats late on Saturday night for that first hoop of the game. Jaden Ray will receive the inbound from Flag. Ray brings it across GCU logo at center court with a right-handed triple. He's caught it up front by Blackshear. Ray over to the right wing. Inside the paint, flip and dip, going off the right side of the glass. I call him Rocket Man for a reason. He turned on the Jets. Bearcats have the 4-0 advantage, 17-10 to go in the first. Grand Canyon back with it on the right side. McLaughlin, this one knocked away. Javion Mays got some daylight to the right side. It's blocked. He's fouled. Two free throws coming up. I love that aggressive play by Javion May in his yellow shoes, but he is laying down there under the rim as he went down hard. He did go down hard, Rob. Sean Miller Moore with a defensive play up top. Got the block, but plenty of body contact. Definitely a defensive foul, but you hope 
for the best here. It's going to go on Sean Miller Moore, his first personal, the first team foul. And JV on May is down there holding that right ankle. Right. And hopefully he will get up. Our trainer Kevin will run over there. And you know it's a little more serious when head coach Jason Hooten, he also runs his way over there to check on his player. Coach Hooten loves these kids. He treats them like they're his own sons. In fact, these kiddos are around him more than their own parents. As Kevin helping up JV on May, Hooten is right behind him there on that left side. All the Bearcat players standing around. You've got to have JV on May healthy. He is one of the leaders on this team. I talk about him in many broadcasts at the team practices. He's patting all of his guys on the back. He's very vocal, and he will walk off. That is good news, Matt. It's very good news for the Bearcats that he's able to get up. He looks a little shaken up, but that was a hard hit. He went down pretty Miller hard. More that time. I, he got hit on uh, with the body and really kind of hit the stanchion, hit the, the basket stanchion. So the officials are all talking things over down there near the center court marker. By the way, our officials tonight here in this ball game, Ian Caldwell, Toby Doolittle, and Kevin Bertanillo. They are talking a few things over. Coach Hoot, maybe they're looking. They're not reviewing anything. We may have just be in a little brief break here, man. I don't know if they're going to go look at this and see if it was maybe a flagrant. I don't think it was. It was just I, a hard foul. It looked like a hard common foul to me, but they are taking a little bit of a break here. Yeah, they are taking a very extended break. Coach Hooten is back over on the right side of the bench, and JV on May looks like he's going to come back wow. into this ball game. Wow, wow. Hard tough of as nails. Tough <laughs> man out there. They may require him to come out until the next substitution. Maybe that's what they were talking about. That is it. So Tristan Epe is going to shoot the free throws here for JV on May. Right. Epe has had a great job at the free throw line as of late. He's only a 59% free throw shooter, but May has been taking care of business. He was only one of three, though, versus SFA. Before that, he was 5 of 5 in his previous game. So I beg your pardon, actually. Tristan Ipe did not shoot free throws versus Stephen F. Austin. He was 5 of 5 in the previous game. Well, the good news for Bearcats fans is JV on May wants to come right back into the game. Yeah. So I think he will be back in there. So Ipe will shoot the free throws here on the left side. He'll bend his knees. The first one on the way. It is good. And the Bearcats have a 5-0 advantage. Three minutes gone, 17 straight up on the Miller Time game clock here in the first half. Epe will have one more. And as I mentioned earlier, he has really came on here from the charity strike. Next one on the way. This one good as well. I talked to him in a post-game interview just a few weeks ago, and he said, you know what? The coach made me take 100 free throw attempts. I hit 87 of them. Wow. That's what's helping him. Here you go. Grand Canyon trailing here on their home court, 6-0. They've got it back on the right side. It's Miller Moore, who had the foul just moments ago. Over to Blackster. He's trapped just in front of the right wing. Jaden Ray, excellent defense. Pass goes back up near the three point to the top to Woods. Here's a three left wing. Buried it. Gabe McLaughlin, the three pointer there. He's 33%, averages nine points a game, and he absolutely splashed that one on the left wing. Bearcats back with it. It's Savion Flag on the far side. The Texas A&M graduate transfer loses the handle, but luckily Jaden Ray is there for it. He almost loses it. It was actually Demarcus Lampley over to Jaden Ray. Here's Ray trying to work from the left wing. Finds Dante Powers. Take a jumper, Dante. This one rims off the front. Epe, the ball bounces off his back and goes out of bounds. It was a good effort down there by Epe, but it'll go right back to Grand Canyon. Yeah, he made the effort to get that offensive rebound. Unfortunately, just couldn't corral it, went off his back, and Grand Canyon ball once again. So Miller Moore will check out of the ball game and in for the first time. Well, if Miller Moore did come out. I thought for the first time they brought in Ivan uh, Wadrogo. He was already in there. It's actually Ellis who was in there now, Walter Ellis. Right. Grand Canyon with it here on the right side. It is Holland Woods inside the paint, right side. They have got a partial block. The rebound, though, goes to Ivan. Puts up the shot, no good. Battling for the offensive rebounds, and that should go to the Bearcats. I believe it will. That'll take us to a timeout. Sam Houston leads 6-3. to three. We've got a good one here at GCU Arena in Phoenix. We'll step aside and take a break on a media timeout for 90 seconds. From Ben Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. 
So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Celebrate. Back at it, friends. Rob Hibb alongside Matt Leshman. Thanks for joining us on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 15.42 to go on that middle time game clock here in the first half. 6-3, to three, the Bearcats lead. Sam Houston is holding Grand Canyon out of the gate. 1 for 7, only 42%. The Bearcats shooting 2 of 5. It's been a good defensive effort so far. We talked about it in the pregame, Rob. These are the two best defensive teams in the WAC. And so far, Sam Houston really getting after it down here on the defensive end, holding uh, Grand Canyon to 14% early on. Sam Houston, two of four, excuse me, two of five for 40%. We're early, but it's a good sign that Sam Houston State really uh, clamping down defensively, especially on those guards early. Then a good ball distribution as well. JV on May with two, Jaden Ray with two, and then Epe with the two free throws. And here we go, we're back into action here. Bearcats have it. It's Jaden Ray from right to left. Guarded by Blackshirt, Ray over his left shoulder to Savion Flag. Long three-point attempt off the left side, won't drop. And boy, and Coach Hill was wanting to travel there by GCU, didn't get the call. Woods may have taken a little step. Ray steals it. Here comes Ray, it's one-on-one, -on -one. right side, lay it up and good. Jaden Ray with four points, and the Bearcats coming alive here in the first. Rob, you don't see Javon Blackshear lose the ball like that very often. Back over, GCU on the right side. It is Ellis, goes to Blackshear for three. This one good. He redeemed it. He said, you know what, I may have lost the ball, but I'm going to drop a three, and that's exactly what he did. He is a 40% three-point shooter, the leading scorer on this team. It is eight to six, Bearcats by two, 14.50 to go in the first. Epe bounces it down over the flag. Flag near that Lopes logo, just in front of the left wing. Inside the paint, darts it over to the right side. It's Lampley, light him up, baby. Splashed it on the right baseline jumper. Bearcats by four, 10 to six. Here come the Lopes quickly from left to right. Blackshire, handoff, drops over to Ellis. Back up top into the hands of Gabe McLaughlin. Now back over to Woods. Woods trying to work here. McLaughlin back and forth, hot potato action. Back over into the hands of Woods. Woods from the paint, takes a jumper just in front of the free throw line. The whack logo and it's good. 10 to eight as Grand Canyon finding some baskets now. Savion Flag, the inbound pass goes over to Jaden Ray. Ray will waltz his way into the front court, dead center at the C of the GCU logo. Now back over the left side, high pass goes to Dante Powers. Powers back up top to Ipe, handoff to Powers. Powers, thought about a three, retreated, now tries to work from the right elbow. Back over to Savion Flag. Flag still looking for his first bucket of the game. Ipe wants to battle inside, skip it over. Here's a three, corner, Ray, no good. Savion Flag pings it way back over to the scores table. Grand Canyon has it, Blackster skips inside, good. And we are tied at 10 apiece with 13.34 to go here in the first. Sam Houston defense, not able to stop him there. And here comes Jaden Ray. He'll move from right to left. And we'll have Javon Grant, the freshman. He'll check in here in just a few moments. Coach Hooten called for him. Ray over to the left wing. Works the dribble back into the right hand. Pass goes over to Lampley from downtown. This one no good. Lamp can't find it. Boy, that was a signature shot a year ago. Lampley has been a little cold this season. We know that he can turn it on, though. Back the other way. Reach and foul on Dante Powers. So Powers will pick up his first personal first team foul. And that was not in the act of shooting, so we'll have an inbound here. Tied 10 apiece, 13.04 to go in the first. Rob, the thing that's a little uh, worrisome right now is the Bearcats 4 for 5 on two-pointers, but 0 for 5 on three-pointers. So 4 of 10 overall, but not able to cash in from long range as of yet. 
I think I made a mistake. They're actually 3 of 20 coming into this game versus Stephen F. Austin in that previous matchup. I was saying 3 of 18. It was worse than that. So Grand Canyon will inbound. They're looking for the first lead of the night. Blackshire has it now here on the right wing. High over the head pass goes to Ellis. Ellis darts one from the chest over to McMillan, who checked in. The 6'2 freshman guard. He'll take a three. Good. Grand Canyon has their first lead on a three-pointer by the freshman McMillan. He is a 33% three-point shooter, averages five a game. It's 13-10, Grand Canyon, 12.42 to go here in the first. Javon Grant, who checked in, he'll launch a two-pointer. That's an air ball. Boy, the air conditioner turned on and blew that one away. Tough for Javon Grant. Looked a little indecisive shooter pass and was not able to find anything. Cooper Grawowski, the Bearcat fan favorite, seven foot two center out of Warsaw, Poland, will check in for Tristan Epe. It's a 13 to 10 lead for Grand Canyon, 12.30 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first, the pass, Ellis has it around the world, we go over to McMillan on the left wing, high screen being set down there by Tayshawn Cherry. Ball batted around, back up, Blackshire takes a three, hand in his face, that one good. That's just a good shot, because Devon Grant had excellent defense right in his face. And he was able to nail that one right between the eyes of Javon Grant. 16 to 10, Bearcats trailing, 12.08 to go here in the first half. Sam Houston has it back on the left side. It's a 10-0 run and a 13 to 2 run over the last 247 by Grand Canyon. Javon Grant darted that one over to Kuba Kowalski, way up top over to Savion flag, down to eight on the shot clock, long three. Bang, that one fell right through the net, raised the flag, Savion. Finally finding some juice from downtown. He is now one of three. Bearcats needed it. It's a six or three point. Grand Canyon advantage, 16 to 13. 11.30 to go here in the first. Ellis, hot potato, back and forth. Over to Terry, now to the left wing, McMillan. McMillan trying to drive in from that left wing. Got the purple shoes on, easy to spot him out there. Test pass goes over to Blackshirt. Blackshirt finds a lane, loses the handle, out of bounds. Oh man. The Bearcats there thought that it went out of bounds off Blackshear, but they're going to say that maybe Savion Flagg got a little handle on it. It's 16 to 13. That'll take us to our second media timeout. Grand Canyon has made five of their last five. Let's go over to Carlos Zimmerman back at the flagship studios for a whack scoreboard update. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here in Huntsville at the flagship station, 1017 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. A lot of action across the Western Athletic Conference today. Of course, the big upset earlier today, Chicago State knocking off New Mexico State, 61 to 59. Brandon Betson with ice in his veins, laying it up at two seconds left to go to knock off the number one team in the WAC. We had quite a matchup in Nacogdoches as well. Stephen F. Austin just hanging on against Abilene Christian. Day Day Hall had the game-winning bucket for the Lumberjacks. Utah Valley also knocked off California Baptist earlier today, 63-54. And the only other game going on right now outside of Sam Houston Grand Canyon, it's Tarleton and Lamar. Tarleton all over the Cardinals right now, 19-6. to Now let's get you back to that rockin' GCU arena in Phoenix, Arizona with Rob Hip. Carlos, thank you, my friend. We'll be checking out with you throughout the night. 16 to 13 back here, 11.23 to go. The thing that stands out right now, Grand Canyon went on a tear as they started to find baskets, five of their last five. They have taken that three-point advantage again, 16 to 13. Sam Houston has turned it over four times. If you go back to the previous matchup in Huntsville, the Bearcats, they only turned it over seven times the entire game. They've got to find a way to hold on to it. The shooting for Grand Canyon, now at 50% from the field. The big one that stands out right now, four or five from downtown. Right, and the thing that's tough for Sam Houston is Javon Blackshear is starting to heat up, Rob. He can carry Grand Canyon from an offensive standpoint, and he's hit a couple threes, allowing Grand Canyon to take that lead right now after the second media timeout. Javon Blackshear, the sophomore, is all that he is. He joined that 1,000 point club back on February the 16th The California Baptist becoming the 26th local all time to accomplish it. And again, he's only a sophomore. He's got a lot of juice left in that tank. Right, he, he can uh, stir the offensive drink, so to speak. We'll get back into it here. Grand Canyon has it, they'll inbound. They barely get it off in time. Grant steals it on the inbound. It's two on one. Grant flip, dip, right side. Oh, mama. The gymnastics shop is open. It was acrobatic move down there by Javon Grant off the right side of the glass. Beautiful Euro step. 
16-15, Grand Canyon by one, 11.04 to go in the middle of time game clock, ball over to Woods at the top, wanting to work inside, now a right-handed pass, Ellis, that three-point shot's hot. Nailed another one from downtown, now five of six, 19 to 15. Javon Grant on the far side will move from right to left. High screen, Guba Kowalski over to Powers, back to Javion May. Good to see him back out there. Bay on the left baseline, finds flag, takes a three. This one's short. Rebound dropped over on the far side. It'll fall into the hands of Chance McMillan. Here's Ellis again from downtown. This one no good. Offensive rebound batted away. McMillan from the parking lot. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He absolutely drilled that one from six feet behind the top of the three. Grand Canyon 22, Sam Houston 15. We'll step aside and take a 60-second break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Back at it here. Bearcats have it quickly. It's over to Savion Flag down to 12 on the shot clock. Bearcats still with it. Flag trying to work inside, looking for the oop to Kowalski, and it was blocked. Here comes Grand Canyon with the lead, 22 to 15. Woods over, corner three. This one no good. It was Ellis, and we got a whistle and a foul here. And Terry and Dante Powers are going at it. And, boy, that's just a tough game there. Terry looking over his shoulder at Powers. Powers has had enough of it. The refs have had enough of it, too. I don't think they're going to – well, yeah, they're going to tech him up here, I believe. Oh, it's on personal foul. Yeah, it's on Tayshawn Cherry. There was no foul against the Bearcats. And I was about to say, Cherry was the one that had the, the look in his eye on Dante Powers. It's his first personal second team foul by Grand Canyon. Sam Houston trailing 22 to 15. The Lopes making seven of their last nine on a 6-0 run again over the last minute. Here come the Bearcats. It's Jaden Ray from right to left. Finds Dante Powers on the right wing. Swing it down, reach in foul as Savion Flagg was trying to get that ball and a reach on the wrist, Walter Ellis. So he'll pick up his first person on the third team foul. 20 back on the shot clock. Sam Houston looking for a basket here, only shooting six of 14, one of seven from downtown. Inbound to Ray, over to Flag. Flag drop off over to Jaden Ray. Ray backpedaling. Around over to Dante Powers. Powers on the left wing, high screen, Kuba. Able to work through it here. Powers gets it poked away. Able to retrieve it with eight on the shot clock. Up top to Jaden Ray. The Bearcats have to look for it. Ray down to five. Down to four. Wiggle up off the left side. Good for Jaden Ray. Oh, baby, what a move by Rocket Man. As he found his way off the left side of the glass, the Bearcats trailing 22 to 17. 9 17 to go here in the first. McMillan of Grand Canyon back on the right side. Chest pass up top. Here's a three. Cherry, no good. Rebound, Savion Flag. Bearcats wanting to push the issue. Far side, right to left, Dante Powers. Right-handed dribble, backpedaling, now moving back over. Almost loses the handle, finds Javion May. Around we go, Savion flag to Jaden Ray. Bounce pass down low to Kuba on the left baseline. Swings it over his right shoulder to Powers, back at the top of the three. Hand in his face by McMillan, launches a three. No good. Rebound here by Ivan Woodrogo. Here comes GCU, they're leading 22 to 17, 841 to go. McMillan has it, right corner three. This one isn't good for Ellis as he's pulled off. The ball goes out of bounds, off of Grand Canyon. It'll go right back to the Bearcats as DeMarcus light him up. Lampley checks in for Dante Powers. On the court for the Bearcats, it's Kuba Kowalski, Savion Flagg, DeMarcus Lampley, Jaden Ray, and Javion May set to inbound. 
Three-point shooting is the difference right now, Rob. Grand Canyon's made six of them. Sam Houston's only made one. Here we go from right to left. Jaden Ray has it for the Bearcats, trailing 22-17. Hard foul as Kuba Kowalski hit the deck. Man, you're going to bring down a seven-foot-two big man. Wow, that foul on Sean Miller-Moore. A little bit too much Miller-Moore on that one, his second personal on the 14 foul. It's like watching a Sequoia hit the ground right there. It's a big man. Yeah, he fell down hard. And there ain't no flopping going on with these Bearcats either. Javion May will inbound here from just in front of the bench of the Lopes to Javion May on the right wing. Still looking here, finds Jaden Ray at the top, down to 12 on the shot clock. Savion flag, high screen, Kowalski looking for the pick and roll, doesn't work. Stepping back here is Savion. Ball goes up top, five on the clock. Jaden Ray fires a three off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound here, Blackshire on the far side, moving from left to right, it's actually Holland Woods. Woods has it. Blackshire is in there, but Woods the ball carrier now here on the left wing. His team leading 22-17. Blackshire. Off the left wing, we got a foul here against Sam Houston. Not in the act of shooting. It is on Jaden Ray, his first personal second team foul. Jaron Cook set to check in here in just a few moments. We'll go ahead and take a 90 second break on a media timeout. Sam Houston trailing 22 to 17. We'll be back in 90 from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than Ticketsmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticketsmarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticketsmarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticketsmarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticketsmarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Loud here at GC Arena in Phoenix, Arizona on the beautiful campus of Grand Canyon University, 22 to 17. The Lopes leading your Bearcat men's basketball here tonight. 7.49 to go on that Peloton game clock. As you go back to the game in Huntsville on January the 22nd, Bearcats holding on for a 58 to 56 victory in that one. Sam Houston only shot 32% from the field, 28% from three-point land. They out-rebounded GCU 40 to 38 in that game. Bearcats only with seven turnovers in that contest so far here in this one tonight as they are trying to stay out of the way of those turnovers. The Bearcats have already had seven of them. Actually, you know what? They've only had one turnover here in this ball game. Earlier that stat showed three or four. They've only had one. So they're still doing a good job. They only have one turnover, Rob, but the thing is, and I think they're talking about it in the huddle right now, it's the last two or three possessions. Grand Canyon's defense has forced a bad shot by the Cats inside five seconds on the shot clock. I've been watching the coach's reaction. Just not really happy with the last two or three times down court. It's going to be up to Sam Houston State to execute a little better offensively here as we uh, play the last eight minutes of the first half. Yeah, only shooting one of nine from three, and a lot of those threes have been forced. 7.49 to go on the middle of time game clock here in the first half. As Grand Canyon will inbound here on their own side, on the right side. Launched up, Blackshire all the way up top to Miller Moore. Moore guarded by Jaron Cook, who checked in just moments ago. Slam it home down there. Ivan Woodrogo able to slam it home. Had a nice separation there. Nine rebounds back in January in their loss. It's 24 to 17. Sam Houston trailing, and I don't know if we have a timeout here. The officials are going to go look at something here, Matt. I think Lampley was hit either in the face or the nose or something, taking a towel to his nose. 
And they may, may be looking at some excessive contact yeah, off the ball. Has it down there on his bottom of his lip. A little bit of blood down there. He could be checking for a flagrant. And I think it's away from the ball. Yeah, Woodrogo had the dunk down there. It was an assist by Woods. The official is in front of us telling Coach Hoot something. He doesn't look happy. Yeah. <laughs> kind of kept his eyes focused away from the official with one of those, like, whatever looks. Tell he wasn't going to get that call, Rob. Bearcats will have it here, trailing 24 to 17. They'll move from right to left. Savion flag, eagerly awaiting the inbound signal, and here we go. It's dropped off over to Jaden Ray. Ray will move from right to left, right across the timeline, crossing over the dribble to his left hand, flips it over his right shoulder, back over to flag. He launches a three. This one rimmed in and out. Boy, Savion flag, one of five from downtown. He's had good looks, they just won't fall. Back the other way, Lampley hits the deck hard, pokes it away, it's able to stay here with Ivan Woodrogo. Back over to Willis, Willis inside the paint, he'll float up a shot, looking for the oop, it's knocked around, and a whistle here, that's before the shot. Are they gonna give that to him, and the one? McLaughlin. It's on Savion flag, his first personal third team foul. Oh man, and they say that it was an and one. Ivan dropped it in. Or McLaughlin actually, it was all by Gabe McLaughlin. The six foot eight sophomore forward. He's a 72% free throw shooter, has an and one opportunity here. His team trying to get to a 10 point lead. He'll bend his knees, right handed free throw shot on the way, it's good. 27 to 17, Sam Houston trailing here. They have not scored in the last two minutes and 17 seconds. Jaden Ray looks over his left shoulder, Coach Hooten. Calling the play over to Ray. Ray commanding the offense. Stands on the G of the logo at center. Rotates over to the right wing. Finds Lampley up top. Lampley chest pass to the left wing to Savion Flag. Ipe calling for it down in the post. He's way out there though on the left baseline. Darts this one back over to Flag. Flag being guarded by Ivan. Back over, it's turned over. Here comes GCU. Miller Moore has it, trapped near the right wing, right-handed chest pass, launched over to Woods at the top of the three. Woods with Epe on him, trying to cross over the dribble. Lamp reached in, poked on it. It stays with Blackshire. Blackshire to the left wing. Switch up, it's Ray guarding him. Right-handed pass down low to Ivan, puts up a shot. Jaron Cook got a hand on it, but there to clean it up. Won't fall for McLaughlin, and now, the rebound by Savion Flag. That was all started thanks to Jared Cook. Here comes the Bearcats. Jaden Ray on the far side. He'll try to work this one on McLaughlin. Back up top. Savion Flag back to Ray. Ray has it on the right wing. He wants to work in. Instead goes over to Jaron Cook on the right corner. Cook, couple of left-handed dribbles inside the paint. Turn around jumper. Can't bank it off the glass, and that shot won't fall. Here comes Grand Canyon. Ten-point advantage. 5.52 to go here in the first. Miller Moore has it. Backing down Jaron Cook. Miller Moore going 360, trying to turn around. Trapped Woods. Three right. No good. A rebound here. Lampley. Thankfully, there was nobody in the area boxing out. Lampley was able to track it down, though. And here comes Sam. Houston. Bearcats, oh, of their last four, they have not scored in four minutes. Jaden Ray over to Cook on the left wing. Cook guarded here by Miller Moore. Right wing back to Ray, up top flag. He'll take a three. No good. Another one that went in and out. Unbelievable. Grand Canyon with it here from left to right. Still has that 10 point advantage. Five minutes to go in the first. Miller Moore back to the right side. Skip inside the paint. Long shot up in the air. A high shot. And it drops in for Miller Moore. 12 point separation now, 29 to 17. Bearcats looking for a basket. Only one of their last seven. They have not scored in nearly five minutes. Jaden Ray will have it here. Brings it into the front court. Dances his way from right to left on the far side. Blacks are on him. Ray. Starting the battle, instead passes Jaron Cook up top, stands on the G of the logo at center court. He's guarded by Miller Moore, back over to Ray, to Lampley actually, now down low, Ipe. Ipe, he's wanting to work down inside, Puck fakes, puts up a shot, and it won't drop in. But two free wow. throws coming up here for Tristan Ipe, as I think it was Miller Moore that was on him. Rob, they just can't get, Bearcats can't get the ball to drop. Right there, a beautiful move to draw the foul, but the ball would not drop. And 
several of these shots just going in and out, but Sam Houston, one of 11 from three. It was Gabe McLaughlin, the one with the foul, his first personal 15 foul. Well, I thought for sure Ipe was in the act of shooting. Are they not going to give that to him in the act of shooting? Wow, I guess not. Wow. That's unbelievable. So Ipe will, they, I mean, the ball went in and out. They didn't yeah, give it to him. Right. Kean Scroggins in the ball game now. Hands off over to Ray on the left wing. Ray, he launches a three. This one off the left side of the rim. Scroggins trying to get the rebound, and it goes out of bounds off Grand Canyon's Blackshirt. It'll stay with the Bearcats with 12 on the shot clock. Continue to struggle from the outside, Rob. One of 12 now on three. Sam's got to shoot better from the outside to win this game. Inbound over to JV on May. May flings it around and it goes out of bounds. It's a turnover by Sam Houston. We'll go right back to the Lopes, leading 29-17, 4.18 to go here in the first half. Blackshirt, he'll bring it up here. On the near side, left to right, over the head pass. McLaughlin at the top of the three. Back to Ellis, now McMillan has it. McMillan, Ellis on the left wing. Ellis, a couple of right-handed dribbles. Back over to McMillan. Shakes off Lampley. That got the crowd excited. McMillan, though, not able to do much with it after that. Back over to Blackshirt from the free throw line. Floats one down low, and it's knocked away, and Lampley rips it down. He was looking for McLaughlin. Bearcats have got a score here. It's been over five minutes. Cook will try to do it. It goes in and out again. Wow, every one of those shots rims in and out for the Bearcats. Unbelievable night here shooting. Sam Houston can't find it, at least here in the first half. Grand Canyon's McMillan with Jaron Cook on him and a foul by Jaron Cook. In the act of shooting, his first personal 14 foul. And two free throws coming up by Jaron Cook. That'll take us to a timeout. We'll take it for him on a media timeout for 90 seconds. Free throws coming up for Grand Canyon when we come back. 29 to 17 from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Celebrate. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Back at it here, GC Arena in Phoenix, Arizona, 29 to 17. Your Bearcats trailing. Sam Houston, only one of 13 from downtown. That came from Savion Black. He struggled as well. Only three points in this ball game. He's one of six. Sam Houston got to find a way here to get some shots to fall. They've had the opportunities, Matt. The shots just haven't been falling in. Yeah, the two-point range, Rob, is shooting 67%, six of nine. It's the threes that are killing Sam right now, one of 13. Chance McMillan to shoot the free throws here, an 89% free throw shooter makes the first one. That's almost automatic. Yeah, that's pure, beautiful shot by the young man. The freshman with one more coming up, averages five points a game in 17 minutes. He'll spin it around in his hand, right-handed free throw shot, bounces in and good. It's almost been a tale of two different rims. The one for Grand Canyon when it goes down, whenever it's in there, it goes down for Sam Houston when it's in there, it pops out. Here come the Bearcats trailing 31-17, 3.24 to go. In the first half on that Miller time game clock, Jaden Ray over the right side trying to work from the elbow. Finds Lampley, Lampley darts it down to Scroggins, Scroggins too strong. 
And it's back over to Grand Canyon on the near side. Here's Blackshear. Blackshear looking for a teammate over the head pass to McMillan. Here's a three from the left wing. It's missed by Ellis. That would have absolutely set off Mount St. Helens <laughs> way over in Washington. Mount St. Havocs, maybe. Bearcats back on the left side. Here is Jaden Ray. This shot no good. Scroggins with the rebound. He puts up a shot no good. Gets the board again. His second effort is no good. Goodness. And the Bearcats can't buy a bucket right now. And now a foul as J.B. on May was too strong behind Blackshear. So J.B. on May will pick up his first personal. 15 foul by Sam Houston. They're trailing 31 to 17. 2.39 to go here in the first half. As the Bearcats have allowed a 15 to 2 run over the last eight. 14 for Grand Canyon. They have not scored in almost seven minutes. And Sam Houston only one of 13 from the three-point line and seven of 25 from the field. Can we check for a lid on that left bucket, Rob? It just will not go down. Ellis, the inbound just in front of us. We're actually on the right side of the scorer's table. Matt Leshman to my left, Cody Stark, basketball SID to my right. 31-17, Grand Canyon back with it here and the lead, 2.29 to go, Blackshirt. He'll try to wiggle his way inside the paint over to Ellis, corner three. This one off the front of the rim by McMillan, rebound flag. Up front, Lampley, Lampley, he'll take a three. This one, bank it home, we'll take it, baby. The bank is open, wow. finally, account number one. Actually, account number two. 31 to 20. And we got a timeout called here by Grand Canyon. We'll keep it right here, Matt. Been a tough one so far shooting for Sam Houston in this first half. After all the balls that went in and out, being so close to going in, a shot that looks way off actually banks in. And Sam Houston brings it back to an 11 point game. That's interesting. So maybe that'll knock the lid off the bucket, Rob. Jaden Ray's the leading scorer. He's got six on three of eight shooting. He's 0 of 4 from downtown, though. He has played in 15 minutes. And then Savion Flagg, every game that Flagg has played in this season, he has scored double digit points. I always bring that up. In 28 games, he has never not scored in double digits as a Bearcat. He only has three right now. Coach Hoot and that Emblem Property Real Estate keys to the victory said that their team has got to shoot better, and you've got to see Demarcus Lampley and Savion Flagg hitting shots. So far, that Lampley has five, Flagg has three. Lampley's doing a fair job, two or three, one or two of those from the three-point land. But Flagg, all of his shots have been from downtown, only one of six. Unfortunately, Rob, for Sam Houston, Grant Canyon has missed their last six three-point shots. At one point, they were six for eight. Now they're six for 14, which is still a good percentage from the outside, but they missed six straight from trifecta land. We'll whistle it back into action here, Sam Houston. Well, Bearcats trailed 32-26 back in January. Grand Canyon to the right side, McMillan misses a shot. Rebound, Epe. Ellis was reaching in for it, he's not happy. And it is a foul against Ellis. Sorry, that's a foul. <laughs> I don't know why he's not happy. Clear foul on Ellis. <laughs> Gonna get one of those official Matt Ledman clear foul. No, no. <laughs> Sixteen foul there by Grand Canyon with 152 to go on the Miller Time game clock here in the first half. Bearcats trailing 31 to 20. They get, got a chance here to bring it back to yeah. a single point deficit. That's what you'd like by halftime. Single digit deficit rather. As Jaden Ray has it here on the left side, loses the handle. It goes off Grand Canyon. Deshaun Cherry it went off his hand. Boy, every time that there's any kind of call, <laughs> the Grand Canyon guys are, what was that, me? <laughs> Jaden Ray to inbound here. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Tried to throw one in. It's knocked around. Ray gets it right back. Over to Javon Grant, the freshman at the top. Grant bounces it down to Epe inside the paint. Left hand layup, good. Beautiful assist there by the freshman, Javon Grant. Bearcats needed a basket. They got it. That'll end with seven minutes of a no scoring. 31-22, Grand Canyon on top. Woods has it on the right wing. Lampley staring him down. Now at the top, high screen coming, Cherry. Back over to Blackshire. Blackshire behind the back, dribble on Ray. Over the left wing, around we go here. Left baseline, McMillan. Wow, what a move. As he went from the left baseline, goes over his shoulder to the right side, laid it up and good. Beautiful move there. That young man, very elusive, tough to stop. 
when he gets the ball one on one. 33-22, Bearcats trailing, 52 seconds to go here in the first half. Ray has it at the top, crossing back over, hands it off to Mon Grant, left wing. Grant, he'll take a three on its way, high shot off the front of the rim. There's about a nine, a 10 second differential from the game clock and the shot clock for Grand Canyon. Blacks are on the right side. Flip it up top over to McLaughlin, spinning around down low inside the paint, lay it up and good with the left hand. Bearcats can take the last shot here, trailing by 13, 35, 22, 21 seconds to go. Ray looks winded here. He's played his heart out in this first half so far. Ray has it in the front court. He's kind of been the king of these last minute shots as time winds down. Ray on that left side, guarded here by Woods. Ray down to three. Ray inside the paint. Turn around. He'll find Lampley at the buzzer. Three. Oh, my goodness. Another one rattled in halfway down the cylinder and popped out. Wow. Sam Houston trails at the half. Hopefully, when we switch halves, that right rim will be a lot more generous, Matt. 35 to 22. Very quickly, your thoughts on that first half. Well, Coach Newton wants a foul on that last shot right there, but he's not going to get it. And in and out, again, 2 of 16 from the three-point line, 13% for Sam Houston. And again, just got to shoot better. Their, their defense isn't terrible in that first half, but when you shoot like that, you're going to have a hard time winning a ball game. We'll step aside. Carlos Zimmerman has that halftime show coming up for you again here at Grand Canyon. The Lopes in the lead, 35-22. Halftime coming up. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and car fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bear Camp Basketball Halftime Show. We are at the break in Phoenix, Grand Canyon, the Lopes. They are all over your Bearcats right now, 35 to 22. Been a tough half for the Bearcats, and we'll recap that for you right now. I am your studio host, Carlos Zimmerman. Thank you so much for joining me here at halftime. We'll get you back to Rob Hip for the second half here in just a few moments. Looking back at that first half for the Bearcats, it started promising. 6-0 start out of the gate with the first three minutes before McLaughlin for uh, Grand Canyon dropped into three. That cut the lead in half, and that's really all that happened. It was a cold start, really, on both sides of the ball. And then leading through the rest of that first half of the first half, Grand Canyon was able to extend that lead out big. Bearcats only got two more buckets coming out of that timeout before Grand Canyon took a 16 to 10 lead and we're lighting it up from three while the cats the story of the half were cold from downtown and then that continued with more threes raining down at gcu arena six of eight from three was grand canyon at the midway point but then once we got inside 10 minutes things started to cool off and 
Grand Canyon missed three straight threes, but the Bearcats were still cold at one of eight from the field, leading into the under eight media timeout, and the score was 22 to 17. Not insurmountable by any stretch. And that's when the wheels fell off as Grand Canyon pulled away, brought the lead to 10 on some more big buckets from their bigs and from their three-point shooters. And at the point there with seven minutes left to go in the half, Bearcats were one of 10 from the three, remained cold at the six-minute mark. And then with five and a half minutes to go, at one point, the Bearcats 9% from three-point land. And leading into that under-four media timeout, the drought continued and then became one of 13 from three. And now I say that, folks, and you heard it here if you've been listening all the first half, a lot of these shots have just been in and out of the bucket. It's just the Bearcats just couldn't buy a bucket from three-point land. At least four of them should have went down. And when you think about that, you add those four, that's 12 points. It's 35-34 going into the locker room. And then even maybe include the one at the buzzer. The Bearcats have a two-point lead going into the locker room. But they have got to get better from outside the arc. And in the final four minutes, Bearcats finally banked home a three to make it 31-20. to Thank you to Demarcus Lampley. But then GCU was able to get a spurt in the final minute. And the Bearcats find themselves down right now 35-22 to on the road at GCU Arena in Phoenix. Looking at team stats so far, actually we'll go to individual stats so far. Not much here for the Bearcats. Leading the scoring right now for the Bearcats is Jaden Ray. He's got six. He's three of eight from the field, 0 of four from downtown. Demarcus Lampley's got five, two of four from the field, one of three from three-point land. Savion Flagg, he's only got three points. One of six from both field goal range as every shot he has taken has been a three. Javion May, he is one of one. He's got two points. Ipe's got four. Uh, excuse me, Javon Grant, the freshman, he's also got two. Jaron Cook, Dante Powers, Keen Scroggins, and Kuba Karwowski have all seen the floor but have not been able to put one in the bucket. Karwowski, the only one that has not taken a shot, been out there really for his defense. When you look at the team stats, Grand Canyon, 45% from the field, 31% for the Bearcats. They are 9 of 29. And then the big difference, the Bearcats, 2 of 16 from 3, 13%. Grand Canyon is 43%, 6 of 14. They missed their final six threes of that half. Both teams perfect at the free throw line. Bearcats, 2 of 2. Grand Canyon's 3 of 3. Turnover's been pretty decent so far. Grand Canyon, 4 turnovers. Sam Easton, 3. The turnover tur- uh, points off turnovers for the Bearcats is 6. Grand Canyon hasn't gotten a point off of those 3 Bearcat turnovers, but Grand Canyon's winning the Battle of the Boards right now. They lead 22 to 14 for the Bearcats. 4 of those 22 offensively. 2 of the 14 for the Bearcats also offensively. A block to each team. 4 steals for the Bearcats. 2 for Grand Canyon. Six assists for the Lopes, three for the Bearcats. We'll talk about those keys to the second half coming up on the other side of this break, and we'll take a look at the college basketball scoreboard. So don't go away, folks, here on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be back here in just a few moments. From Ben Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be saved. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. 
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Carlos Zimmerman back here at the flagship KSAM Studios. Hope you're enjoying this one so far. Bearcats currently down 35 to 22 against the Grand Canyon Lopes. Here's your keys to the second half for the Bearcats. And the big key here is, guys, the ball's got to go in. It's got to fun. That lid needs to get popped off. Like Rob said it there at the end, hopefully shooting on the right side of the court will help the Bearcats as that left side has not been kind so far, and it's as if that makes a difference. Take the they got to take the rebounding battle back as well. Grand Canyon is up 22 14 on that. They have got to figure that out as well. Don't rely on the three too much. It's clearly not falling. I get that a few shots just went in and out, but you can't rely on the three the rest of this game if you want to claw your way back. When you take away those three pointers, the Bearcats are seven of 13 from the field. That is above 50%. So take those more high percentage shots than anything outside work the ball more and don't settle that's another thing as well and you have got to get Savion flag going he's really the x factor of this team if you want to work your way back that is the keys to the second half time to take a look at the college basketball scoreboard of course grand canyon they're up 35 22 tarleton and lamar just came out of the halftime break tarleton leading 33 to 22 right now against the cardinals cardinals still looking for that first win in the whack three games have gone final today stephen f austin knocked off abilene christian at home 73 to 71 chicago state of course with the big upset 61 to 59 over the number one team, New Mexico State, and then Utah Valley, knocking off California Baptist 63-54, to and they should be underway now, Seattle U against Dixie State in St. George, Utah. That's another one the Bearcats are going to have to keep an eye on here once this one comes to an end tonight. And some notable top 25s, number 20 Texas knocked off West Virginia today, 82-81. Big upset, TCU knocked off number 9 Texas Tech as well. And the other big Texas game going on right now, the number 10 Baylor Bears, the defending champs. They are down 32-31 to right now against number 5 Kansas. So that's a look at the scoreboard. But before we get back to Rob, let's take a look at the state of the whack. With the loss for New Mexico State today, that brings everything to one game apiece. Seattle, SFA, and Sam Houston all tied at 12-4 and four right now. Seattle has the tiebreaker over both teams. They are second. SFA has a tiebreaker over Sam Houston with the win on Thursday, 12-4 and four for these teams. Sam Houston is now fourth. If the Bearcats can come back and win tonight, they would move to half a game behind New Mexico State. They would need a Seattle loss as well to move into second place. A loss tonight will put the Bearcats at 12-5 and five in Grand Canyon at 11-5, and five, making that race for the number one spot in the WAC, all the more interesting. And who can we thank for that? Our good friends in the Windy City, Chicago State, for making this one really interesting. That'll do it for the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. In a few moments, we'll get you back out to Rob Hip for the second half. Hope the Bearcats can bring it back, but that'll do it for us here. From Ben Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance. Plus, networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. 
Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove. Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. Back out of here, friends. Rob Hip alongside Matt Ledgman. Thanks for joining us. On the Bearcats Sports Radio Network, live from Phoenix, Arizona, Sam Houston men's basketball, trailing the hopes of Grand Canyon, 35 to 22. We are about to get started with the second half here in just a few moments. Coach Hooten, I know that he told the guys at halftime, you gotta get back on transition. Also, have got to find a way to start making threes, and then on the defensive side, start forcing them to miss threes. Those are some of the things that I know for a fact he talked to the guys about. Rob, and I think Carlos is right on the money with his analysis there at halftime. Take better shots, you know, you're not, you know, some of those threes forced, we know, but the Bearcats are shooting over 50% on two-point shots. And to take 16 threes out of your 29 shots is maybe a little uh, too high a percentage. So the low with that lead, 35 to 22. They will inbound to get this second half started. We'll see if the switching of the rims will help the Bearcats. The Lopes will now move from left to right. As they have it here, and here we go in the second half of three. Right out of the gates, it's good. Holland Woods found it right there, right out of the gate. Boy, 38-22. That was one of the keys, saying you got to block the threes. Don't let them take them. There's one right away. Jaden Ray has it here. Bearcats trail 38-22. Lampley over to Savion Flag near that left wing. He'll take a jumper on the way. This one bounces twice. No good. Rebound into the air by Glaive McLaughlin. And here comes Grand Canyon. The Lopes, 19-19. We are 40 seconds into the second half of the Miller time game clock. The ball in the hands of Woods. He'll take another three. It's good. They gave him it was a two. His foot was right in front of it on the right wing. And Coach Hooten will immediately call a timeout after a quick 5-0 run to start things. We'll keep it right here, Matt. Under a minute and a 5-0 run, Holland Woods doing the honors for Grand Canyon. Sort of the, uh, I wouldn't say second fiddle to Javon uh, Blackshear, but those two guards in the backcourt, we talked about it early on. You contain them, you hit, your chances of winning are a lot better. And Holland Woods had two points at halftime and now has seven because he's added five in under a minute here in the second half. It's 40 to 22, 1904 to go on that Miller time game clock. We are here in Phoenix, Arizona. Bearcats trailing Grand Canyon again. Thanks for joining us. A lot of friends joining us in the booth. Our good buddy Dave Richardson, uh, he brought up a point here just a few moments ago talking about this game in the first half. He said that it looked a lot like the first half of that SFA game. Sam Houston were down by 18 with two minutes to go in the first. So he said, let's make a, a run here and win this one. Also, my beautiful fiance back in Huntsville, Bridget, joining us saying, go Cats, go. Michael Baggett saying, eat them up, Cats. Also, Ivan Marquez chiming in, as well as Alan Smith. Our good buddy Diesel, part of Nicholas Damon Jr.'s family, or Damon Nicholas Jr.'s family, joining us saying, let's go Bearcats. The team Diesel supporting, as always, listening from Dallas. And we do have a text message that came in from Nicholas Paula, helping out Carlos back at the flagship, saying that he's in awe of the atmosphere here. Nicholas, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, Robert, you talked about the experience that Sam Houston had coming back from 18 down against Stephen F. Austin. They're only losing that in controversial fashion. They're going to need something similar here tonight because right now it's an 18-point deficit and 
They're in a, a much tougher atmosphere, so it would take something special, but we know the Bearcats can do it. It's God bless America night here tonight. The GCU dancers are out there firing up this crowd. As Matt, as I look around, all around us, there is hardly any empty seats here. I know earlier when we put the picture on social media, there was a lot of empty seats. That's because we were on pretty early, but this place is filled up. Yeah, 7,000 capacity. I would say that there's probably 6,200 here tonight. For a non-Power 5 arena, very excellent fan support for Grand Canyon out here in Phoenix. Bearcats will inbound in their orange jerseys and the orange shorts. They'll have it here on the right side. It's Jaden Ray. Ray, behind the back dribble. Thought about a three, picked it up over the right wing. Hand off JB on May. May, from the top of the three, finds Lampley. Lampley hand off over to Flag. Test pass back to Ray. Ray, wiggling through defenders. Down to seven on the shot clock. He'll take a jumper from the left elbow. Good. Well, there's that rim. It's working so far here on this right side. And Rob, there's nearly 19 minutes ago that Bearcats can't panic. They can cut into this deficit. 40 to 24, Sam Houston trailing. Lampley had a little head butt. He's like a pull down there for a moment. Grand Canyon back on the left side. Bouncing in, here's a shot to floater. That one good. It was Miller Moore found it on a little teardrop from the free throw line. 42, 24, 18, 12 to go in the Miller time game. A lot of time left here in this one. The Bearcats have it moving from left to right. JV on May, wide open three, no, off the left side of the rim. Flag was trying to bat it back around, it wouldn't fall. JV on May can hit a few of those. He is a 27% three point shooter, he's only made eight. Lampley with the steal, here come the Bearcats. Ray, he'll flip it back to Lampley. Here's a three, no good off the right side of the rim. Rebound up in the air, Savion Flag. Flag only with three points in this ball game. He has it at the top of the three, launches it over to Epe. Epe on the left baseline, back over to May at his toes. Back over to Jaden Ray now on the right wing. High screen, Epe. Ray elects to move to the right side, tries to thread the needle. Floats up a jumper, no good off the back of the 10. And we've got a whistle down there on the rebound by Grand Canyon. That's gonna be called on. Ivan Woodrogo, that is his first personal. And the first team foul of the second half, Jaden Ray will inbound for Sam Houston, trailing 42-24. Inbound over to Lampley on the right baseline to the right corner. The head pass down to Ipe. Ipe trying to battle, he'll find Javion May. Left wing three, too strong. Savion tips it back over to Javion to Savion on the right wing. Savion flag guarded by Miller Moore. It's poked away, and now a whistle on a foul here on Savion flag. His second personal first team foul by Sam Houston here in the second half. It's a tough night so far for Savion. We talked about it, Rob. He's one for seven from the field with three points, but there's going to be a comeback. A leading scorer for the Bearcats has got to get involved here. 42-24, head coach Jason Hooten clapping his team on from just in front of us, standing on the sideline. Grand Canyon to the left side, over the left wing. Miller Moore guarded by May. Moore, back pedaling his way down with his left shoulder, trying to power through Javion May. Pump fakes once, hesitation jumper, not there. Rebound, Savion Flag launches it to Jaden Ray. Ray on the right wing, back to Flag. Flag guarded here by Moore. High screen, Epe. Flag trying to look from the left elbow. He'll pick up his shot, swings it down low to Epe. Epe battling left side, no good. Rebound over to Woodrow go. Grand Canyon with it, moving from right to left. Leading 42 to 24. Bearcats have not scored, here's a three. Straight away, it's good for Blackshirt. Sam Houston, O oh, of their last five on a scoring drought of almost two and a half minutes. Bryce Drew in his suit is happy for his team right now. 45-24, Bearcats with their largest deficit. 19 here as Jaden Ray has it, 16 minutes to go. Flag over to May from the right corner on the right baseline, driving in, it's blocked, and a whistle and a foul here against Grand Canyon. It's gonna go against Woodrow go. I believe that's what it is. What'd they say, no? Yep. Woodrow go second personal, second team foul. That was weird because the official in front of us said it was a good block. Yeah. I don't think he saw the other official They called the foul. Kind of a tough call there on Grand Canyon. That looked, looked like pretty good defensive play, but Sam will take it for sure. So two free throws coming up here on the right side for Sam Houston. What do we go with the foul? Who's gonna shoot him here? Who was up with that? Was it Ray? No, it was JV on May. Right. 
So down in the keys is Tristan Ipe and Savion Flagg. Also on the court for Sam Houston. Jaden Ray to Marcus Lampley. Javion May to shoot the free throws here. May with only two points. His first time at the free throw line tonight. But the rowdy students in front of him. First one on the way, good. I was gonna say maybe a little bit easier on the right side, but the band and the students are on that right side is also, it doesn't get anywhere easy on this court. Even the cheerleaders get into it over here. The Palm Squad does a certain thing to try to distract the free throw shooter as well. One more for Javion May, made the first one. May only a 44% free throw shooter. Second one, good. So he makes both of them. Critical free throws, Bearcats trail 45-26, 15, 50 to go here on the Miller time game clock in the second half. It's over to Miller Moore. Grand Canyon has it. Blackshear on the left wing, guarded by Javon Grant. Blackshear stepping around him, launches this one. It's on the court. Grand Canyon able to hold on to it. Miller Moore, back around the world we go. Left wing over to Blackshear. Blackshear trying to step through a defender, launches a long two-pointer. It's no good. Rebound the freshman, Javon Grant. Here come the Bearcats from left to right. Grant behind the back, dribble to the left wing. Picks it up, finds May up top over the right wing. Savion flag, high screen. Kuba takes a three. This one won't fall. Savion may have got away with the big push down there as well. Right. Savion Flag, one of seven from downtown. 45-26, 15 minutes to go on the middle time game clock here in the ball game. Bearcats trailing. Miller Moore over the free throw line to the right wing. The ball goes into the hands of Blackshire over his left shoulder. Here's a three. This one is no good on the play there by McLaughlin. Bearcats have it. Sam Houston has O oh, of their last six shots, not scoring in four minutes. Javon Grant wants to put a stop to that here. He'll pick up his dribble near the left wing. Over to Kuba Growowski at the top, over the head. Javion May, Lampley steps through. Long two-pointer, this one won't fall. My goodness. The Bear shooting 10 night. of 38 yeah. from the field. Score remains 45-26, Lopes up front. 14-24 to go, here's a three from the corner. Left side, good for McLaughlin. He's got 11, and now Two of three from downtown. Rob, he's above his season scoring average. He's uh, having a good night for them. Averages nine points a game, 11 here. Javon Grant has it back for the Cats, trailing 48-26 and a reach-in foul on Blackshirt. That's his first personal third team foul, and that will take us to immediate timeout. We'll take it with them for 90 seconds. We'll be back from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. 48-26 as we're back in the saddle here from... Phoenix, Arizona, the Bearcat men trailing the Lopes with 14.02 to go. They have got to find a way to start making baskets, and they've got to do it now. Matt, you said earlier, as we were on commercial break, no Bearcat in double digits tonight. Oh, that's going to make it tough when you've got nobody in double digits scoring. And Great Canyon, Blackshire, and McLaughlin, both 11 each at this point. But very tough shooting night for Sam Houston. 10 for 38, that's 26%. That's got to be a season low, right? 
Yeah, compared to 49% for Grand Canyon. The Cats will have it here as we're back in action. They have got to score. They have not made a basket in five minutes. Here's Grant from downtown. That won't do it. Rebound, Javion May trapped on the left wing. Up top of the left baseline over to Dante Powers. Powers has it. Launches it up top to Flag. Flag picks up his dribble. Long jumper from the right elbow. Good. We have got to see Savion Flag come alive, and he does there. He finally hits a field goal, his second one of the ball game. 48-28. Bearcats trailing by 20. Grand Canyon back to the left side. With 13-23 to go. Ball up top here to Cherry. Over to McMillan, he'll take a shot. This one no good. A rebound battle around. Yehan has it. He's blocked by Kuba. Dante Powers secures it. So Yehan checking in. Aiden Yehan, the six foot ten sophomore forward. Bearcats back with it here. We'll see if Savion Flag can find some fire. Darts it down. It goes out of bounds. He was looking for Devon Grant. Yeah, that was a bullet pass. That would have been tough for anybody to catch. Javion May heads over to the sideline, checking back in as Jaden Ray on the court for Sam Houston. Kurwowski, Powers, Flag, Ray, and Grant. Sam Houston has two in the backcourt. Now they'll retreat, and the one-on-one -on -one battle starts here. McMillan on Jaden Ray. Look at boy, he's pushing Ray all over the place. Ray should just kind of move back a little bit here. They may get an offensive foul. Ball handed off over to Blackshire on the right wing. Blackshire going around the high screen. Launches this one to the corner. Back around we go. Good ball movement. Right back into the hands of Blackshire on the right wing. He'll find Terry up top. Now the handoff over to McMillan. Down to three, two, one. And boy, where was the foul there? Coach Hooten is even looking yeah. saying, where was the foul? That's called on Jaden Ray. Kind of a bailout call right second there. It didn't look like much contact. Second, team foul. second personal, second team foul. And that'll be two free throws coming up. And Rob, I didn't mention because he was on the bench, McMillan's in double figures as well. And he's above his score average. McMillan here from the free throw line. He's two for two so far tonight. This young man is almost automatic. The first one is good as well. We'll have one more coming up. 89% free throw shooter. As Blackshire will get a much needed rest. And Holland Woods back into the ball game. One more coming up here for McMillan. Three of three tonight from the charity stripe. The next one on the way. Good as well. He's a perfect four for four. Here come the Bearcats, trailing 50 to 28, 12, 24 to go. They have got to make some baskets. They have been outscored 15 to six here in the second half. Savion Flag has it, works inside the paint. This one blocked off the right side. Gahan coming in, and now a travel, and it'll go right back to the Bearcats as Tristan Epe set the check in. And we'll see who heads out. Savion Flag's going to get a breather here. Talk about just how humble that young man is coming from Texas A&M. And he has been a true leader for this team this season. Over to Javon Grant up top. Bearcats on the right side. Kuba Kowalski has it. One dribble handoff Grant. Grant inside the paint. Flip it up high. No good. Kowalski saved it, I thought. But it goes out of bounds off of Javon Grant. Timeout on the floor. So and not timeout and on the floor. We'll take it for a media timeout. We'll be back in 90 seconds. This one getting away from the Bearcats, trailing 50 to 28, 11.56 to go. We'll be back in 90 from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates, too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith. 
owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Sam Houston shooting two of 21 from three-point land and trailing 50 to 28 here at Grand Canyon with 11.56 to go on the Miller Time game clock. It's been very tough tonight for Sam Houston. We'll get back into action here. Bearcats trying to hold off on the defense and see if they can create some offense here, but they're going to have to start from the defensive side. Inbounding for Grand Canyon, the Lopes, Tayshawn Cherry, the junior. He'll drop it off to Holland Woods. Woods brings it into the front court from right to left on the far side. Jaden Ray guarding him. Swings now over to the right wing. Drop off over to McMillan. McMillan still on that right wing. Down to Cherry around to the left side. And now Ellis wants to drive inside. This one partially blocked by Ipe. Goes out of bounds off the Bearcats and will stay with Sam with Grand Canyon. That was an erasure right there by the uh, Sam defense. Listen, Ipe has been known to do it. Sam Houston here. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Grand Canyon. The Bearcats on the defensive side. Inbound, goes up top over to Yehan. To McMillan, down to four. McMillan at the top, guarded by Grant, two. He doesn't realize, now he launches one. Desperation, good. Wow. I mean, he didn't even realize the clock no. was going down. Then he just looks up at the last second. What an athlete. At some point, you tip your cap and say, yeah. it's Grant Canyon's night. 53-28, Sam Houston back on the right side. Kuba Krawowski to Dante Powers. Powers inside the paint. He's slapped all over the place. And a foul coming up. He'll have two free throws. Rob, uh, McMillan shot that from the G. TCU. About 30 feet. Walter Ellis with his third personal fourth team foul. And Dante Powers to shoot free throws here for the Bearcats on the right side. Sam Houston only one of their last 11 shots. They have not scored in the last 237. And Powers, a 68% free throw shooter. Looking for his first point, and he'll get it here. One more coming up for Powers. Bearcats trail 53-29, 11.04 to go in the middle time game clock here in the ball game. One more for Powers. Good. And that is one area that Sam Houston has done very well. Six of six tonight for a team that's at the bottom of the league in free throw shooting. 53-30, Grand Canyon with the commanding lead back to the left side, McMillan guarded by Grant. Bounces his triple over to the right wing off the high screen from Igehan back over. This one knocked away, but it stays with Cherry. Down to five, down to four. Woods, down to two, pump fakes, shoots at the buzzer, no good, and a shot clock violation. That was reminiscent, that right there was reminiscent of the SFA three-pointer that was a foul was called on. And luckily there, there was no foul. Back in the ball game for the Lopes, number 10. Blackshire will check back in for Ellis. Bearcats have Krawowski on the court. Alongside Damon Nicholas Jr., the freshman guard in for the first time tonight. Here come the Bearcats, 10-26 to go, trailing by 23. Jaden Ray handoff over to Nicholas. Back to Dante Powers on the left wing. Good ball movement here. Ray up top works the Kuba Grawowski screen. Ray finds Grant, launches the three. This one won't fall. Grawowski pings it over to Nicholas. Back to Grant. Skip, dip, flip. No good off the left side. Nice ball movement. Just couldn't get it to drop. Blackshire has it for Grand Canyon, right to left. He finds separation. Grawowski says, get it out of your own house, baby. And hello, mama, back to Warsaw, Poland. Here's Dante Powers on the right side. Powers trying to swing through a defender, finds Grant down to Kowalski. Kowalski finds Ray on the right wing, inside the paint from the circle, flips it up, no good, batted it around, falls into the hands of Woods. Sam Houston, one of their last 14 shots. Wow. Here's a three, Blackshire, it's on its way, and it's good. Javon Blackshire Jr. with 14 points. 
closing in on his season average of 16. It's 56 to 30. Bearcats trailing 917 to go. Jaden Ray from the top, inside the paint. This one off the left side, won't fall. He threaded the needle, had the room, but it just wouldn't fall. Blackster back with it, who had the three just moments ago. He'll go to the right corner to Woods. Woods guarded here by Nicholas. Trying to do a little shake and bake. Ricky body on him. He'll launch this one over to the left wing to Terry. Terry, Kuba slapped him around. Kuba has the rebound. He's on the court. And the possession to Sam Houston. I love what I see from Kuba Krawalski. This young man, seven foot two oh, senior. Oh, 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 first time we've had a seven foot or taller player since the 80s. And Kuba has been a force for this Bearcat team. When he hits the ground, you notice it. Yeah, they're going to have to realign the San Andreas fault whenever he hits the ground. That's not in California, it's in Arizona now. 56 to 38, 43 to go in the Milton game clock. The Bearcats trail. They have it here on the right side. Dante Powers guarded by McMillan at the top of the three. Kean Scroggins in there now. The high screen. Powers left side of the glass, no good. Bearcats, oh, of their last seven and only one of their last 16 shots. 56 to 30, Grand Canyon with the lead, 8.19 to go. Blackster trying to find separation, long two. And he's fouled here, Jaden Ray can't believe it. Two free throws coming up for Blackster. Ray with his third personal, and the third team foul. And that'll be two free throws coming up for Grand Canyon on the left side. Kind of crazy to say, Rob, that there's eight minutes left in this ball game. And Bearcats only have 11 buckets all night. And only eight points here in the second half. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Blackshire on the left side here to shoot those free throws. The sophomore, a 73% free throw shooter. The first one's good. He's got 15 points, one away from his season average. As Savion Flagg will check back into the ball game. Dante Powers will head over to the bench. It's been a tough night tonight for the Cats. Assistant coach Mudge in front of us. Giving a high five to his team as they come off. Here's the next free throw. It's on the way and good as well. Blackshire makes both of them. 16 points tonight. 58 to 30. Bearcats trailing by 28 with 8.11 to go. Jaden Ray into the front court from left to right on the right wing. Hand off over to Demarcus Lampley. Back to Savion Flag. Flag fires a three. No good. Rebound flickered over to Jaden Ray. Ray trying to shake a defender. Here on the right baseline, Ray trapped. Launches it back over to Nicholas to save on flag. Left side, good. Flag with seven points. That's only his third bucket in 12 tries tonight. 58-32, that'll end that scoring drought of almost four minutes for the Bearcats. Blackshire floats one from the right hand, no good. Save on flag, the rebound. Here comes Flag. he'll go up top over to Jaden Ray, back to Flag. Flag high screen. Picks up his dribble. Nicholas on the right wing. Trying to work inside. Turn around. Floater good. Oh, baby, what a play by Damon Nicholas Jr. 58-34. Bearcats with a little bit of a run. And Grand Canyon going to call a timeout here with 7-12 to go. We'll take it with them for 60 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Back at it here, friends, from ECU Arena under a rowdy house tonight here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Rob Hipp, your play-by-play announcer, alongside my good friend Matt Lesman. 58-34, 7-12 to go on that Miller time game clock. 
And Matt, you just pointed out a stat that during that commercial break, the Bearcats are only two of Michael Jordan from downtown. Two of 23 is going to be very tough when you shoot two of 23 from downtown to beat anybody. And, you know, seeing Grand Canyon as much as I do, this is one of their best games tonight. They've got guys contributing that don't usually show up in that way. When I talk about McMillan, McLaughlin are, are both in double figures, and those aren't normal double figure scores. But, and you've got contributions from the normal guards and Blackshear and Woods, but it's a tough night for Sam Houston. They'll have to regroup going into their final regular season game. Bearcats only making two of their last 10 shots. They were out score 35 to 22 in the first, 23 to 12 here in the second. They are only shooting 26% from the field and 9% from downtown, but they are perfect from the free throw line, six of six. We'll get back into it here. Grand Canyon has it on the left side. Ball up top to McMillan. He'll find Blackshire inside the paint, over the head, back over to McMillan. Driving inside, losing the handle. No, Blackshire holds on to it. And a whistle and a foul here goes against Sabian Flag. It is Flag's Ball third ball personal one, and the fourth flag. team foul by the third Bearcats. Personal. It's not in the act of shooting. Of course, Grand Canyon coming off that win at Chicago State, 85 to 64. They lost here at home, 82 to 66. One of their only two losses. That one at home to New Mexico State in the game before Chicago State. Down to 10 on the shot clock, driving inside. Flip this one up, and the charge here is Tristan E. Pay took it. Actually, it was Kean Scroggins. I call Kean the charge king. That's what he does. And he took a charge down there as Ivan Woodrow go ran him down. His third personal, 15 foul. Here come the Bearcats from left to right. Back in the ball game for the most, number 55, Walter Ellis. Walter Ellis, the six foot five junior guard, back into the ball game as McMillan will get a pat on the back from head coach Bryce Drew. Here comes Sam Houston, trailing 58-34, 6.37 to go. It's a pass over to Scroggins off the left side, and it's missed. Had a good look down there, but Walter Ellis brought the pressure. Blackshear at the top of the three. Ray trying to put a hand on him. Ball goes back over to Ellis, back to Blackshear on the left wing around the world. Here to Woods. Woods takes a jumper from the free throw line. No good. Lampley with the rebound. He was on the floor. Handoff from Flag over to Jaden Ray on the right wing. Ray over the top to Lamp. Lamp from downtown. It's no good. Rebound to McLaughlin. Two of 24 now wow. from three point land. Woods from right to left. 58 34. Grand Canyon leads. 5.54 to go. Here's a three from the corner. This shot's no good. Rebound down there, Woodrow go, and a foul called on Kean Scroggins. He picks up his first personal. 15 foul by Sam Houston. Did not think that the Bearcats would struggle to get to 40 tonight, Rod. It's just a, a rough night. It's a bad reunion, Matt. I haven't seen you. <laughs> Haven't seen you in three years. Man. Haven't called a game in five, man. We'll have to wait 10 fun. for the next one, right? <laughs> Ball up top here. Grand Canyon has it on the left side. Blackshear launches one from two. Oh, it's good Blackshear. from near that left elbow. They were O of their last four before that shot. 60 to 34. Sam Houston from left to right. 5.29 to go. Savion flag, handoff over to Nicholas. Nicholas working it from the top, inside the paint. Flips it up, partially blocked, missed shot. Grand Canyon on the far side. Woods, inside the paint. Almost loses the handle, Blackster hot potato back over. Corner three, no good for Ellis. Rebound though, Woodrow go. Turn around jumper here, he's fouled by Kean Scroggins. Two free throws coming up. That's his second personal, 16 foul by Sam Houston. So two free throws coming up here on that left side. For Ivan Woodrogo, he is only a 40% free throw shooter, 19 of 48 on this season. Played in 26 games, he averages four points in 20 minutes. It's Kuba Kowalski, JV on May, set to check in. First free throw, good. Dixie State, by the way, on their home court, leading Seattle 23 to 22. And man, that's just a, a dagger for the Bearcats if Dixie State can hold on to win. I know it's still early. Right, first half. That is surprising. 
One more free throw coming up. As Woodrow go here, the second one on the way, made the first one. That second one's an air ball. And maybe even a little violation there by Grand Canyon. We'll give it back to Sam Houston. Woodrow go will head over to the bench and checking back in is Aiden, Aiden Gahan. Sam Houston back with it here on the right side of the court, trailing 61, 34, 454 to go. Here's a three, Jaden Ray won't fall. Rebound though, back over to Sam Houston. Savion flag finds Lampley. Lampley inside the paint, slicing it down to Javion May. May kicks it back out over to Lampley. At the top, Jaden Ray. Ray trying to work through defenders. Drop off Lampley, corner three, no good. Savion flag skyrocketing into the air. He hit hard. Oh man, the back of his head hit the court. And hopefully Savion Flagg will be able to hop up as he hit hard down there on that right side. You can hear that from here, and it did not sound good. Even heard some of the fans behind us. 61 34. We'll take a break on an injury timeout. We'll be back in a moment for at least 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Act. Convenient located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville. The Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited green fees and car fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop be fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes, 936-295-2686. Your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wheeler Huntsville and meet the new service shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wheeler service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wheeler Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to pack and ship. Big or small, we ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rental, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fit Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see Noble Bill. You'll check out your order and agree on pricing, and then leave the rest up to Bill Fit Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams, and they'll trust you to buy. No deposit required, and you still get no bull deal. Buying made easy. Bill Fit Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFitFordHuntsville.com. Friends back out of here, Savion Flag headed it back into the locker room. Unfortunately, he was able to walk up, but he clearly hit his head pretty hard down there. We'll get back into it here. 61-34, Bearcats trailing 425 to go here in the second half. Grand Canyon with it. Got it here on that left side. It's over to McMillan. Trying to work, floats one up, looking for the alley-oop. Shot's not there, but the offensive rebound is there. Tayshawn Terry able to drop that one in easily. Sam Houston back from left to right. JV on May on the right wing, trying to crisscross the defender. Floats one right side, good for JV on May. 63-34, 3.52 to go on the Miller time game clock. Bearcats trailing. Grand Canyon has it right to left over to Ellis at the top of the three. Jaron Cook guarding him. 
Ellis. Uh, Blackman, Jalen Blackman checking in for the first time. Let's go to Cherry, the right wing. Here's McMillan. Down to five on the clock. McMillan driving in. Launches this one and a late whistle. It was a three by Blackman. And a timeout. And a foul. So there was a foul by Grand Canyon. And then a timeout. We'll go over to Carlos Zimmerman at the flagship for a whack scoreboard update in the middle of this media timeout. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here at the flagship KSAM Studios. Folks, apologies for the technical difficulties. We have that now under control. Here's an update. Tarleton in a close game with Lamar with 36 seconds left. Tarleton's up 53-49, to 49, and I believe Tarleton has the ball. So Tarleton should hang on there. Dixie and Seattle, they're heading down to the wire in that first half. 28-27, Seattle currently leading. Ah, it just wasn't a night for the Bearcats tonight. Going to have to go back to the drawing board for the final game of the regular season coming up on Thursday against those aforementioned Tarleton Texans. Not our night tonight, Rob, but we'll see what happens through the rest of this one. Back to you. Appreciate you, Carlos. And I can barely hear myself in the headset tonight. It's so loud in here, Matt. It has been a great atmosphere. And when you got this kind of an atmosphere, that's the reason you're 12 and 2 at home and about to go 13 and 2. They talk about it all the time, Rob. It's proud. Nuts. Every home game just propels Grand Canyon to the energy never drops. And I think the only time some of those students sat down all game. It's when Savion Blagg was down on the ground, you know, hurt. They're up all game, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. I will say something. The folks here at Grand Canyon are first class. They helped us, uh, just tremendous guys helping us before the game, uh, the, the days leading up to the game. They have excellent hospitality here. And for a crowd this big, and as many students as they have, a very, very classy organization. Hey Rob, that's how we do it in the AZ. <laughs> they are good people, and this is my first chance to come inside this arena. Very, very impressive place. And uh, the way the, the students are just makes you want to come back. Back when you land at the airport here, it says, welcome to the friendliest airport in the United States. Sky Harbor, there you go. Here come the Bearcats. Javon Grant is out there for Sam Houston. They've got it on the right side. 319 to go, trailing 63 to 36. A whistle here and a foul on the defense called against Grand Canyon. Foul called on the number 14, Jaden Stone. Jaden Stone, six foot four, freshman guard. His first personal, 17. And Kuba Kowalski here with a one and one. Seven foot two senior, a 42% free throw shooter this season. He'll bend his knees. On the front end, it is. It's no good. That's the first miss of the night, by the way. Ball goes out of bounds off Damon Nicholas Jr. It'll go back to Grand Canyon. GCU with all substitutes, no starters left on the court with a big lead and three minutes left. 63 to 30, 314 to go here in the game. Sam Houston trails. The Lopes will bring it here from right to left. They've got the lead, 2.59 to go. And Dima Zador is out there on the court now for Grand Canyon. Jaden Stone from the right baseline drops one in. 65-36, Damon Nicholas thought about a three over the head, back up top to Javion May, to Javon Grant, Jaron Cook launches a three, that one no good. Bearcats did not buy a bucket. Dima Zanora hauls it down. We talked about him in a pregame during our moment of silence. He is from Ukraine. His family is there. We're going to keep that young man in our prayers and his family. A region foul here on JV on May. That's his second personal. Seventh team foul. So one and one coming up here for DCU. Zador there at that. Left side. Rob, with him being from Ukraine, there's been future stories on him, local media. Just a very, very difficult situation, obviously. The door here, a 36% free throw shooter, 8 of 22. It's on its way. 
did not fall. Cooper Kowalski with it. You notice how the crowd, everybody got quiet, and that's out of respect for Dima. Here's Nicholas left side, won't drop. Javion May got his arm ripped away. There was no foul. Still on the court, Nicholas on the Blackman. It goes back to the Bearcats. Cook from downtown, yes! Light the stove. It's Jaron Cook, the Bearcats staying aggressive. And he buries it from downtown, 65 to 39. Finally, the Cats find something from that three-point line, Matt. Only the third one all night, 28 to 10. Grand Canyon back here on the left side. Blackman up top to Zador. Now down here to Yeha. This one knocked away. Zador with it with one on the clock. They won't get it off in time. That's a shot clock violation. Jaden Stone nailed one for three, but it won't count. And Brian, I don't have our record book in front of us, but I don't know when the last time Sam Houston had this low of a point total in a ball game this late. Right. In the 30s with a minute 20 to go in the game. 65 to 39, 125 on that middle time game clock. Bearcats only shooting 25%. Here's Javon Grant. He launches a three. That one's no good. Sam Houston now three of 29. Yeah, that's rough. And a whistle and a foul here. Javon Grant reached in on Blackman. His first personal, eighth team foul. And one and one coming up here for Jalen Blackman. Am I correct to say, Rob, no one in double figures for Sam? Yeah, nobody. And wow. we're more concerned about yes. Savion Flagg's health versus exactly. the fact that it was his first game. He didn't get double digits as a Bearcat. Blackman makes the first on the front end. He'll have one more. Yeah, that's that's one game that you lose, but you want him to be okay. 66-39. He was out in one other game this season with an small ankle injury. Second free throw good as well, 67-39. Sam Houston trails, 1-12 to go. Grant will bring it into the front court as he looks across over to Coach Hooten, and Hooten calls a timeout. And we'll take it with him. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Bearcats back with it, it is Leon May from that right corner down below. One minute to go on that Miller time game clock. Davion May over to Javon Grant from inside the paint. Trapped to Nicholas Jr. Nicholas trying to work. Turn around jumper, battles around, won't drop. Cooper Kowalski trying to get the rebound, it drops over to Nicholas. Here's Jaron Cook who had that three earlier. Sam Houston's Javon Grant. He got tripped up down there, holding on to it. Kowalski fighting, couldn't hold on to it. Grand Canyon with it. About a three-second differential from the game clock and the shot clock. Lopes will win this game handedly, 67 to 39. I was looking at the record book here, and Sam Houston nowhere near their lowest point total that they've ever had, but still 39 in a ball game. That's not a lot. The door at the top. They'll probably just let the clock wind down here, take the shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. And Sam Houston will have one last shot to try to get above that 39 point mark. The Bearcats, unfortunately, will drop this ball game two in a row. Inside, JV on May floats it up at the buzzer. That's good. So the Bearcats will get the 41. But that will do it. Bryce Drew and his team taking care of your Bearcats tonight. They're a rowdy crowd here, 67 to 41. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll have post game when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners, The Grove, Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Hey, y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. 101.7 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Well, just as quickly as the fans came in before game, they have already started to file out Grand Canyon. A monstrous victory here, 67 to 41 over your Sam Houston men's basketball team. It was a tough one tonight. The Bearcats only shooting 26% on 16 of 62 from the field and only three of 29 from three point land. Coach said in those Emblem Properties real estate keys to victory, they've got to shoot better. They did not shoot well at all tonight. One positive thing, the Bearcats, they only had six turnovers. Matt, thanks for joining me on this one. Your thoughts? Yeah, just a tough night shooting. That's all you can say. I've seen Grand Canyon a few times. They played one of their best games tonight shooting uh, 45% 45% and, and making 11 of 22, shooting uh, 50% from three-point range. But sometimes it's just one of those nights. That's what I chalk it up to. We know that uh, Sam Houston, from the, looking at their schedule this year, they're they're much better than what they showed tonight. And I think Coach uh, Wright Drew would say the same thing. You just caught them on a night where they were hot and you were ice cold, and it leads to a, to a big win for the Lopes. Yeah, tough one here. Bearcats only scored 19 points in the second half. They were outscored 32 to 19. In the second half, 35 to 22 in the first half. We'll quickly look over final team stats. We'll start with Grand Canyon. They shot 23 of 51 from the field at 45%, 11 of 22 from downtown. They were 50% from there and 10 of 12 from the free throw line. They were getting to the free throw line early and often in this ball game, Matt. Not a bad night for Grand Canyon uh, for a team there from that charity stripe tonight. They normally only shoot 67%. They did a good job tonight at 83%. Right. And like we said, from two-point range, three-point range, and the free throw line, they had it going tonight to the Lopes. Other stats here on a team side, 11 turnovers for Grand Canyon. They only scored two points off of the six Sam Houston turnovers, but they out-rebounded the Cats 44-33, to 36 on the defensive side, eight off the offensive glass. They had nine second-chance points, 24 off the bench, 20 down in the paint, only two fast-break points, two blocks, four steals and 11 assists. They were doing a good job finding teammates and scoring. Yeah, just an all-around good game. We talked about the guard play for Grand Canyon and Blackshire again. 18 points, 6 of 12 shooting, made a couple at the line. He's the leader for Grand Canyon, and like you said, it's just a a night here in Phoenix for the Lopes as they, uh, now Rob, as you look now at the conference standings after this one, New Mexico State still leading at 13 and 3. Seattle, depending on what they do tonight, could be half a game behind. Stephen F. now 12 and four, and Sam falls to 12 and five. So that puts them in fourth, which is right on that uh, line for that bye in the conference tournament. So that Tarleton game is going to be massive for the Bearcats. Yeah, and Dixie State right now at the half, they're leading Seattle 29 to 28. So if 
Dixie State can hold on. That would be the second big upset of the day after Chicago State taking care of New Mexico State. We'll see how still a lot of basketball left, though, there at Dixie State. Right, and the top six in the WAC right now are very tightly bunched. And you got Utah Valley in six. They're ten and six. But now Grand Canyon winning tonight moves to 11 and five. And now they're sitting just a half a game back of Sam. And they've got two games left, and both of them are here. So you would consider they could probably finish 13-5. Yeah, you're talking about playing a Utah Valley and a Dixie State team, so those should be two wins. For this team at Grand Canyon, now 13-2 and two on their home court. It is a very tough atmosphere here at GCU Arena. Those final stats for uh, this ball game, this game was tied one time for 2 minutes and 52 seconds. There was only one lead change. Grand Canyon led for 32 minutes and 51 seconds. For Sam Houston, uh, just a, a, a bad night shooting from the field. There's no other word to really describe it. 16 of 62. They put up 11 more shots than Grand Canyon, but only making 16 of those for 26%. They were 3 of 29 from three-point land at 10%. They had a good night, a fair night shooting free throw, 6 of 7 at 86%. That's a good number for a team that is there at the bottom in Division One from the free throw line. Bearcats only six turnovers. They scored eight points off of 11 Lopes turnovers, 33 rebounds as I talked about earlier, 22 defensive, 11 offensive boards. They had seven second chance points, nine off the bench, 16 down in the paint, nine fast break points, four blocks, five steals, only five assists. Sam Houston only led for four minutes and 17 seconds in this game. A few players getting into double digits for Grand Canyon. Blackshirt Jr., 6 of 12 from the field. He was 4 of 5 from three-point land and 2 of 2 from that charity stripe. He had three rebounds, two assists, one foul. Again, Blackshirt, who averages 16 a game, two above that with 18 here tonight in 31 minutes. McLaughlin, he was 4 of 8, 2 of 3 from three-point land. He had a double-double with 12 rebounds and 24 minutes, 11 points. And then McMillan. He was second in scoring, four of six from the field, three of four from downtown, a perfect four of four from that free throw line. In 17 minutes, he had 15 points. Final numbers for Sam Houston, Savion Flag. Again, I, I mentioned earlier, we're more concerned about his health, but I will note the fact that here in his 29th game as a Bearcat, it was his first game that he did not score in double digits. He didn't have an opportunity there as he went out with an injury. Hopefully everything with Savion is okay. He was only three of 12 from the field and one of eight from downtown. He had seven rebounds in 30 minutes and seven points. Javion May and Jaden Ray were the leading scorers, by the way, with eight points. Ray was only four of 13, 0 of five from three-point land. May, he had eight points, three of five from the field. He was 0 of two from downtown. Other players scoring tonight as Jaron Cook had three, Nicholas Juniors and Powers each had two. Demarcus Lampley with five, and you add all that up, and it's 67 to 41, your final. Matt, before we go, just some final thoughts from you one more time uh, before we sign off tonight, my Rob, friend. Rob, I'm just going to give you one Matt Stradamus for tonight. If Dixie State's able to pull off that upset tonight, you could very well have these four teams finish 13 and Talking five. about Seattle, SFA, Sam Houston, and Grand Canyon. All of them finish second at 13 and five, and then you got to break into the tiebreaker scenarios to seed them for the WAC tournament. But uh, just a tough night for Sam Houston, but uh, really, really exceptional to be back on with you. Well, Matt, it was a lot of fun, man. I know even the loss, we try to bring the energy to our fans on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. We're always going to support the Bearcats and cheer them on as they will have one final game remaining in the regular season before that tournament down in Las Vegas, the WAC tournament, as Sam Houston will battle Tarleton at home. We need a crowd at Johnson Coliseum. You've seen, well, if you're watching on ESPN Plus, you saw, if you're following me on Twitter at Rob Hip, you saw, if you're on Facebook and you saw my live video, you saw just how powerful this crowd is here. I would guarantee tonight probably at least 6,000 people were in the house we need yes. a big crowd to close out the season versus Tarleton, a team that defeated us earlier this season on their home court. So please come out. You can get your tickets at GoBearCats.com. Also want to remind you this game made possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Matt, been a good one. I haven't seen you in three years. Haven't broadcasted with you in almost five. I know a buddy of yours was texting you saying it'll probably be the last time I ask you to broadcast. That's not true, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Matt. Yeah, Rob, uh, once again, thanks for the opportunity. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for the A-team to do it one more time. Well, this broadcast has been authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast 
may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producers of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer is Desiree Chambers. And a special thanks, as always, to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office, Jason Barfield, Ben Reichard, and absolutely Cody Stark and all that he does. Studio operations by the flagship, KSAM. Carlos Zimmerman was our studio host tonight. We appreciate him. Again, make sure to tune in for the next broadcast. That'll be on March the 3rd, hosting Tarleton at Bernard G. Johnson Coliseum. Tip-off at 6.30. We'll go live with pregame at 6.15 in the booth at KSAM1017.com and on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For Matt Leshman, I'm Rob Hip, reminding you tonight, friends, that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you tonight. Good night and God bless from Phoenix, Arizona. We'll see you, friends. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Hey y'all, it's Aaron Watson. Need a new vehicle? It may only be a swipe away. Every time you swipe your first financial bank Visa debit card between now and the end of February, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a new vehicle of your choice. Swipe often and you will soon be driving up and down that honky tonk highway. For promotion rules and a list of participating dealers, visit ffin.com slash sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, member FDIC. been listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.